weeks old. The Paradise Coast here in Southwest Florida. Beautiful white sand beaches. And if that's not enough of a draw, there's also a little thing called the Minto US Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. Now in its ninth year, eighth tournament ever. They lost one due to COVID, but boy, this thing just gets bigger and better here at East Naples Community Park. And we are getting set for another exciting day of action here on Zing Zang Championship Court. Should be a whole lot of fun. Temperatures are in the mid 80s. There is another strong wind today, so we'll see how that impacts play. It did come into play yesterday a little bit in the men's senior pro doubles division. Hello, everybody. Dave Benson alongside Chad Edwards. We've got the best seat in the house, Chad. This is fantastic seeing what's happening. And it was packed here yesterday. Yep. More of the same today. No, and, and the crowd's going to keep on filling in now that we're getting to the quarterfinals here in the in the senior pro women's doubles. The men senior, senior pro were on display yesterday, and they're somewhat of entertainers, you know. Some of the best entertainers were out there, no doubt about it, including a guy named Dave Weinbach. We'll see him in a moment. But this was the first semifinal with Gingrich and Morariu coming up with an 11-4, 11-2 win. Yeah, Bonet and Robertson just couldn't find the answer yesterday. Gingrich and Morario, too strong. Great, great showing there to get through to the final. But, you know, as the day went on, kind of fell a little bit short, but we'll get to that in a little bit. And then in the other semifinal, uh, Dave Weinbach and Altoff Merchant, they were absolutely a buzzsaw all day long. Hadn't lost a single game, and they took that momentum into their semifinal against Rick Witzkin and John Sperling. Yeah, and this was uh, actually the battle of who could make the most noise. John Sperling was the quietest guy on the court right there. But they were Weinbach and Merchant were tested a little bit in game one. Witzkin and Sperling had, had a lead for a short period of time, but it's so difficult to get through Weinbach and Merchant. They're, they're like a wall, and they just are relentless with the control, with the attacks, and that put them through to the final. And so we went to the gold medal match in front of a packed house here last night as it was just about sunset. And you thought maybe Merchant and Weinbach were going to have a perfect day. They won the first game easily, 11-3, but uh, they didn't get out of it that easily. Yeah, you were ready to go and, uh, go and catch the sunset, but Gingrich and Morario had a, uh, had a different thought in mind. Weinbach and Merchant uh, lost their first game of the of the bracket 11-8 and then they come out in the third game and just for a little bit of redemption and take it 11-0 but again Merchant and Weinbach their hands are so fast Mario and Gingrich were able to kind of get a few runs here and there and in game two Weinbach and Merchant just never really looked in it but they changed that tone in game three and they cleaned up the unforced errors yeah. They had a lot of them. I think 22 well, I went in game two. Nine in game one, 22 in, in game two, and then four in game three. So, you know, that, that, that's the tail of the tape, and that always comes down to what it, what's the difference. Well, we'll find out who's got the least unforced errors today. Some gold medals to give away. We'll be back to Naples in just a moment. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. Here on Florida's Paradise Coast, you can't help but think, if only every beach was this beautiful. If only every adventure was this exciting. If only every dinner was this special. If only every sky was this dramatic. All of which proves one thing. When you want a vacation to deliver only the finest of everything, only paradise will do. Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. 
They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Match point. It's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you going to do next? I'll say, I'm going. We're going to Margaritaville! You can go to Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. Welcome back to East Naples Community Park. A pretty good crowd on hand on this Thursday afternoon. Glad you could be aboard as well as we begin our coverage of day five of the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And Chad Edwards, they, 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 they've had a name for almost every day this week. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, strangely, no name. Man, I guess they didn't want to they didn't want to infringe on Taco Tuesday. <laughs> That's what I was going to so, Thursday. Yeah, well, so, I was going to yeah. say Tequila Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Tequila Thursday here. Uh, but Thirsty Thursday also works. And right now on Zing Zang Championship Court, we have a women's senior pro doubles semifinal matchup. It is Sherry Quarter and Chris Cargis taking on Sarah Mitten and Mary Helen Atkins. And this is game two of this best two out of three. Game one went 11-6 in favor of Mitten and Atkins. And they control the serve right now up 4 nothing here in game two. So they're trying to uh, see if they can close this thing out in just a couple of games. Yeah, Quarter and, and Carr just coming in as the two seed. But Mitten and Atkins have kept the pressure on in this one. And it is Quarter and Carr just that are in the near court. And there's a good look at Sarah Mitten with the backwards cap on. She and her teammate Mary Helen Atkins on the far court right now as we play at 0 4 1. And able to catch up to it off the net and then into the net. Hey, Kyle just tried to sneak that one down the line past Atkins, but trying to go over the high part of the net there. A little tough. And now Cargis with the serve, trying to get her team on the board. And that's not going to be a friendly net cord there for Quarter. Now uh, two unfriendly ones, one for Cargis, one for Quarter. You just feel like nothing's going your way when you get that happening. And now one into the net by Mitten. Both Mitten and Atkins out of the Carolinas. And that moves it to 5-0-2. 5-0-2. There is a breeze here today. It doesn't feel quite as gusty as yesterday, but. Uh, I'm looking at the, the flags outside of championship court here. And definitely not as strong as yesterday. Good move there from Atkins. Stepping in the middle, putting the pressure on. Sherry Court has already picked up a gold medal here. 6 In 2024, she won the Pro Split Age Women's Doubles with Mari Humberg. Congrats to both of them. She actually won pro split age women's doubles last year as well. Nice job by Quarter to put that one away and a serve will go back over to Quarter and Carr just see if they can get this Zero, goose six, egg off the one. scoreboard. Point. And indeed they can. Sherry Quarter out of one, Dublin, six, Ohio. One. Just barely able to be qualified for the seniors. She is exactly 50 years old. And she misses on that backhand wide. 
Loves to train dogs when she's not One, six, two. on a pickleball court. Side out. And another errant shot, so two in a row, and the side out gets it back over to Mitten and Atkins, who are in the driver's seat here, just five points six, away from one, moving one. on. Point. Uh, that's a good spot for the drop. Two backhands in the middle. A little bit Seven, of one, one. miscommunication and confusion right there. I think we mentioned it, but this is a semifinal, so winner of this gets to play for gold. That's a quarter, I think. Uh, are you sure? A quarter yeah. to my bracket. It's a quarter. Oh, this is... Oh, you're right. I'm yeah, looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> you're right. You got me. It's early at Thirsty Thursday. See, I said it's a ke it was tequila Thursday, so maybe I, maybe I already did sampled you some. Did you start I early started already, early. Dave. I started early. Nice touch there Time from Sarah Mitten, and then the overhead from Atkins Eight, Corner one, just one. couldn't catch up to it, and they'll take a quick timeout. 8-1. Let's get a quick Takea hydration break. by Margaritaville are brought to you by Latitude Margaritaville and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude Margaritaville by Skechers Pickleball. Experience comfort that performs with the Viper Court Pro by Naples, Marco Island and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast and by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. 83 degrees. Feels a little warmer than that with a little bit of humidity, but again, the, the breeze, you can see the flag blowing there in the background. Breeze keeping it from getting too overwhelmingly hot here in Naples. I mean, the, the weather has been uh, absolutely perfect. Nobody's got any complaint about the weather here this week. Yeah, it, it has been a little bit cooler. It helps that it's a couple of weeks earlier than, than last year. Um, unfortunately, we still have had a few people with some heat stroke and having to uh, get some IVs to get some fluid into them. But... And next year, it'll be a couple of weeks later. It'll finish in May, so yeah. <laughs> bring the IVs with you. Every every day in the 90s next year. Set, sir. That's a good lob there from Mitten, but better recovery from Corda. And then she hit that two-handed backhand back down at the feet. Speed up there by Quarter ends up being a winner. And the serve back over to Carges and Quarter. Yeah, that's a that's a tough ball for Mitten to go for it. That she was sitting middle, Quarter went cross body, but I think if Mitten had have gotten out of the way, that ball is potentially out. She was getting to the short court, and then a oh, unforced error there from Mary Helen Atkins. Two, eight, Car just trying to get up to that kitchen line Second, and sir. hits that one, not a bounds. Chris Car just out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Two eight two. Uh, unable to catch up to that one. Car just sped it up Thank and. You. They weren't able to take advantage of the opportunity when it looked like it was there, and instead it ends up being a Eight, side two, out. One, one. Second serve. That's good recovery there from Kajas. Minton had control of that point, moving Kajas. To the middle and then back out wide, change Eight, two, direction. Two. That ball just got a little too close to Atkins, wasn't able to pick it up, get it back over the net. Eight, 
A little poach there and then kind of put Mitten in a, a spot where she needed to make a tough shot and cannot. Yeah, that's a hard one when you're running dead sprint, hoping to just get there and then you get there and you get a little excited and over hit. Oh, good defense on both sides right there. Minton, it looked like she had an opening through the middle, but caught it, took it away, and then turned it. Down the line past quarter. Quarter and Cargis are the two seed. And should they advance, which looks like it is likely, they will take on Lily Cordick and Kara Williams in the semifinals. That is the three seed. And they are a point away now. 10 to 1. Oh, again. Second serve. Well. Ten to two. You, you can correct me on the air. You've already done it. <laughs> we got quiet because Chad was trying to point to me. They're not the three seed. They're the seven seed. They're playing like you, the three you, seed. You, you were talking well, look, about. No, but look right here. That, I, know, okay. I know, but you were talking about the two seed. Uh, quarter yeah, 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 Kajis, yeah. But I was trying to say Mitten and Atkins, Atkins are the, ones are the <laughs> seven seed. Yeah, okay. They're, they're the two, ones that he's probably going to move through. <laughs> seven, two. They all look the same. We know there's parity here, Chad. Take turn. Good ball there from Atkins. God, just, just caught, still moving the feet. Tough coming through the transition there when you're still on the move. Quarter and Car just have had seven straight serves without a point. Side up. Make it eight straight serves without a point. So a 10 to one. Atkins to try and close out this match. Just cut the line. And there it is. 
So 11-6, 11-2 in favor of the seventh seed, playing like a two seed. And they are moving on to the semifinals to take on the three seed. Yeah, Mitten and Atkins are always a tough team. They've been playing together for a number of years. An excellent get off that lob for Atkins and some fancy footwork to get out of the way. Don't go anywhere. Our coverage from Naples, Florida, just getting started here on this Thirsty Tequila Thursday. <laughs> the jungle up in the trees i got a few tricks up in the sleeve one wrong move i'ma let out the let out the bitch shoes check out the crease blow like i'm big foot step on the beat make a man's run till he step out the crease when the whole place scream gotta get out the, out the i don't need your money you can pay me in respect cause once i do it big what's the follow is it check uh. the road to number one is never easy but staying on top is just as hard. Winning becomes more than a goal. It becomes an expectation. Practices get longer, training more intense. Every game needs to be your best because that's what you're gonna get. So, is it all worth it? Paddle Tech. Let's go again. It's less beer. That tire. People play pickleball for exercise, competition, or to hang out with friends. What your reason is doesn't matter to Gamma. What matters is that you play, that you enjoy playing with passion, and you have so much fun you can't wait to play again. At Gamma, we offer paddles perfect for all levels, including yours, because pickleball is about you, the player, and what feels right. Pickleball is your game. Make Gamma your paddle. Play to live. Live to play. Gamma Pickleball. Gorgeous Thursday afternoon as we continue on our coverage. The court is empty right now. They are likely going to be bringing us a race to 15 from the consolation bracket before we get into our semifinals matches. But here's a look at some of those final numbers from that quarterfinal. Quarter and Cargis 24 unforced versus 17 for Mitten and Atkins. But the, the big number is the outright winners. Look at that 15 to six in favor of Mitten and Atkins. So enjoy those numbers and we will be back live with the commentary in just a few moments as soon as we have our race to 15 match on the court ready to go as we continue on here on a terrific Thursday afternoon in Naples, Florida.
Zing Zang Championship Court on this Thursday afternoon. Not much rest for Chris Cargis and Sherry Quarter as they immediately go down into the consolation bracket and come right back out onto Championship Court where they will take on Karen Coaches, 52 years old, former tennis pro out of Denmark, and her teammate Diane Wainio. And winner of this will stay alive for a chance to, to take a bronze home at least out of Naples, Florida, Chad Edwards. Yeah, Wainio and, and Coaches were knocked down by the one seed, Bagby and, and Shaw, and they've had a pretty, pretty quick turnaround uh, as as well coming through coming through the back draw but I have seen Karen coaches quite a few times um, since she's come on the on the senior pro tour exceptionally good at singles and her doubles game is coming along but we we talk about all the new players that are coming in on the pro side, but we always have a ton of new players coming in on the senior pro side as well. Well, a lot of players are, are they're, they're waiting for that. You know, and most people in life aren't waiting for the 50th birthday, but you do get hey, a pickleball player. The pickleball up. players are waiting for that 50th birthday. You know, it, when you're in your mid 40s, you're in a you're in a tough spot because you're not quite old enough to to play senior pro and. When you play pro, you're playing against kids that are young enough to be your kids, so. <laughs> exactly. So get me into that into that senior division. There's a look at quarter on the left and Karchus on the right. So it'll be a race to 15 to stay alive in the quest for a bronze medal. Quarter. And quarter will start this Match up with the serve at 0 0 2. Side up. And quickly a side out to get it over to Wainio and Coaches. Zero, zero, Diane Wainio, originally from my neck of the woods, Binghamton, New York, not that far from Syracuse, New York. And then she got smart and went and played college Seven, tennis at the seven. University of San Diego. Oh, beautiful place. Yeah, I can uh, I can understand why she may want to go from <laughs> Binghamton to New York to, to San Diego. Yeah, I always wanted to. Uh, Swanee and I wanted to live in San Diego. And when we came out of college, it was just a little too expensive. San Diego is some good living. It's a lot like Florida without the humidity. Oh, good spot there from Wainio. <laughs> Kaj just saying right there that she was having trouble Seeing the ball, and the One same for quarter two. going right up at the face there from Wainio, not on purpose. Side up. A backhand return is well short, so side out. Zero one one. Second serve. Cargis into the net, so she'll take over the serve. Chris Cargis is a breast cancer survivor back in 2017. Great to see seven years later she's out here competing athletically at a high level. Oh, good setup there from Wayne Hill. Just got a little too big on that last four hand. You have one, you're on second server. You have one, you're serving. You are serving over here. Yes. Referee Bob Unitic just putting the players in their one, right one, spots. Two. The referees, all volunteers here this week, are, as are so many that help Side make up. this tournament what it is. And that sails long, so the side out at 1-1. One, one. One, 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 one. And just eat there, might have got caught up in the, the wind stream. Yeah. Great backhand yes, there sir. by Cargis as Winio couldn't catch up to it. One, one, two. One, 
Oh, a little unlucky there for Corder, catching the net cord and, and missing wide. Yeah, when it first hit the net, I thought she's finally going to catch a break because <laughs> they didn't have any luck with the net in their last match on this court. Not in, not in either, either of these matches so far. Uh, it's an excellent speed up and finish there from Chris Cargis. Goes crossbody on, on Colchis, and it's an elevated ball. Yep, two. Yep, Colchis kind of got caught up in that chicken wing a little bit one, and left the two, next one, one up. One. Good put away there Check by it, Wainio. Your Franklin X40 replay. Yeah. Corda wants that one back. She wants to push that one just a little bit higher, but tough when you're on the run. So a missed return there from Coaches. A little bit of confusion there for a second. Yeah, that's what I was kind of looking at, but yeah, there's the, the replay. So. Twos are wild right now. Ooh, Wainio just hit an out ball. And she was rewarded with missing it out as well. I like the aggression coming out of Corda and Kajas here in this game. They're, they're starting off with a lot more drives, taking the opportunities to speed up. We didn't see that in the previous match in the quarter quarterfinals. That one's wide. Point. So they rolled off three straight points here on their last three serves to forge ahead to this 4-2 lead. 4-2-2. Side out. Side out. Two, four, one. The lob. Oh, that one's deep. Good defense there from Coaches and Wainio. Yeah, especially when there's wind and it's and it's still Three, swirling four, a little bit one. here on championship court. Throwing those lobs up, making them hit another overhead. Oh, she hit an out ball sorry. again. That time pays the price. Three, four, two. So three, four, two. Point. Point. Good eye there. Good move from coaches. Going for a little shake and bake. Good movement. Crashing up in the middle. Force the over hit. And a good out call as well. Four, four, two. So all even at fours. Ooh. Point. It's a little bit of the tennis background coming yeah. out right there. Nice top spin drive through the middle. Five, four, two. Side out. Okay. Thank you. Be well long, so the side out. Oh, it gives a little power back right there. I just noticed Four, five, Karen coaches his serve. She doesn't get cheated on the serve. She takes a running start up into it. Puts as much power as she can. I still feel serve. like the serve is the <laughs> is the final frontier. Like when are we going to see a dominant? I know there are some players that there, are really there, good. But there have been, but you know, four, when five, somebody two. figures out some way of being more dominant, then it ends up coming in and a rule rules change. get changed. <laughs> yes. You know, so it's uh, it's it's tough. Yeah, because they, they, they don't want a dominant serve, That's really, fine. because then the game no. would not be as well, fun then, to watch. Then no longer, no longer does the advantage go to the returning five, five, team. Right. Yeah, for a few years there, you had the Ben Johns of the world kind of spinning the ball on the paddle on the serve, and then yeah. that was outlawed. That was Zane Navratil 
and Morgan Evans testing around with Morgan. Morgan was doing it first with uh, clicking his fingers, and then Zane started with the chainsaw serve, and then used the the other other hand to Six, impart five, more spin. And that followed, and now we're getting changes where you can't even toss the ball up. Nice spot right there from Corder on the run. And they've rolled off three in a row now. Seven, five, two. They've scored six points on their last eight serves. Again, this is a race to 15, a foot fall here on Cargis. And that will be a side out. It was her right foot. Swung around. Cargis. We're one point away from getting the end change. Five, seven, one. Karen Coaches will take over the serve. And we are one point, point closer. Seven, six, seven, excuse me. Six, seven, one. Karen Coaches, a Christmas Eve birthday. Do you get double the presents? Mm. I, I, I bet the parents tell you you do. Wenio stood up through that one. She had the opportunity to really drive that one down the line. Just stood up and Sensor. slowed down the motion at contact. It's your serve. Speaking of Seven, birthdays, seven. our A2 Austin is celebrating a birthday today. Side the ball there from Kaj is finding the feet of Wainio as she's coming through the transition. So back over to quarter and Kaj just another seven, point six, here and we one. will get that end change. Not seeing too many empty seats here Set, in championship sir. court. She almost got it. She tried. Kissing that court on the way back up. I tell you what, Corder and Carr just haven't had much love from the net. No. Six, seven, one. Some days you are the bug and some days you are the windshield. And today they seem to be Ooh. more the former than the latter. Seven apiece. Next point for either side and we'll get the end change here. Could look at the X40 replay. A couple of inches out right there. Yeah, that's a good ball there from Corder. Recognize that Wenio was going to drive. Went back behind it down the line. Wenio just seven, caught a little two. off off balance, wrong footed. And point there is the eighth eight point eight to get eight us to an end change. Two. So this race to 15, tight as we change into the court. It is 8-7-2 back to Naples in just a moment. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Yola for the champion in you by Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand, and by Paddle Tech, the paddle of champions. Let's go again. Back here in Naples, want to thank the title sponsor, Minto Communities. Minto is a strong supporter of the game of pickleball. And if you're interested in learning more about a beautiful Minto home, make sure you Come by the U.S. Open and stuff to the Minto booth. There are probably ways you can find them online too, but I'm just telling you, you need to get down here. And if you're in the area, listen, the, the, the beaches will be there. They're beautiful. I mean, I mean, but this tournament only has a couple of days left this year, so get yourself to East Naples Community Park. 
Carr just goes up to get that one. Wainio might have hit an out ball there. Coach is speeding it up, and then Wainio putting it away. Good attack there from Coaches to get the setup for Wainio on that overhead. Tides changed a little bit for Wainio and Coaches. They're being Nine, a little seven, bit more aggressive two. as well. It was Kajas and Corda that started off aggressive and putting the pressure on. Now the scripts flipped a little bit. Oh, that's too good. Oh. The wind not exactly gusting, and that certainly helped that. Well, Time by the receivers. Kajas Ten, is two. a little vertically challenged uh, to start with, but that was a good pickup. They're taking a timeout. This is a Takea hydration break from Naples, Florida. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Takea, hydration is an all-day game. And by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, save the date, April 26th to May 3rd, 2025. Back here in Naples. <laughs> Anna Shelley running around the center court. Gotta love it. That's why we come here, right? Everybody, everybody just says, hey, I'm here to have fun. I'm not going to be too worried about what anybody thinks about me getting up and dancing. I'm just going to have a good time. Point. Well, I had uh, some, of, some of the volunteers here were asking about her earlier because she was getting the crowd going. I said, you know what, that's exactly how she is out on the court, too. She has a lot of fun. That's what a lot of these senior pros, they're out here competing, but I tell you what, they have some fun on the court. Much needed break there to force the side out. That was a, an effective serve opportunity. Five points on that service opportunity before the side out. Second serve. Move to the second serve. 7 11 2. Point. Good drive there from quarter. Coaches just catches that one a little late. The angle takes it out wide. Eight, 11, two. Much needed point. Carr just with a speed up. Uh, again, started with another good drive there from quarter. Carr just goes for the shake and bake. Gets in the middle of the court and keeps the pressure going. 9-11-2. And just a single point separating these teams right now. Quarter and Carr just coming out a lot more aggressive 10, here 11, on the two. end change. They're now hitting into the wind, so taking a few more opportunities to be aggressive. Another one. Ooh, just out. Are we sure they're hitting into the wind? The flags in the background look like it's gone the other way now. No, they're 11, hitting into 10, the wind. The, the flag's blowing toward us. Get that flag. The flag's outside the court. Uh, the flag's outside the court blowing a different direction because <laughs> of the, <laughs> the wind tunnel Point. that's created in here. Uh, the physics of championship court. 12, 10, right now, the physics of this match. 12-10. Nice put away Second there by serve. Porter. Yeah, a nice job from Kajis. Splitting the corner of the kitchen there to be able to take that one out of the air. 
Creates the pop up for Cordo with the big two. overhead. Foot pull, and that shoe is on the line during contact. Ooh. How about that? Bob Unitic is one of the guys, one of the referees that'll pick up on everything. Ten. He's been a referee for a long time, referee trainer. You don't often see a foot fault Ten, on a serve. 12, one. In fact, Chad, that might be a first for me in calling the US Open <laughs> that I've seen a foot fault on a serve. I'm sure they've happened. I haven't yeah. seen them called. Second serve. You don't gain a ton of advantage by your toe being on the on the back line. On no, a serve. and and Wainio steps in when she serves, so Ten, you know her distance two. and spacing may have been a little bit off. Oh, mm. how good is that? Quarter. Nice step back. Opens 11, the hips. 12, Boom. Side up. Quarter would like to have that one back, however. And so over to Wainio and coaches three points away from moving on. Twelve, eleven, one. Quarter one for the put away. Nice shot by coaches to keep it going. And the lob, oh. that's going to carry. Second serve. Just kept going with the wind right there. Yeah, coaches first lob wasn't deep enough again. A, a good overhead from quarter. Twelve, eleven, two. Try to switch it to the little finesse shot and misfires. Thirteen, eleven, two. Sure, quarter having some good conversations with herself over there. And this is game point. 14 11 2. Stop play. I'm going to call for I was, replay. Say, I was waiting for Bob. I'm not sure that one foot was touching the ground at the moment of quiet. To call it on Karen Coaches. So we're calling it for both feet 14, being off the ground two. when she made contact on that serve because she does jump through contact. One foot has to be in contact with the ground when that ball makes contact with the paddle. 11, 14, one. Yeah. Quarter putting it away. So 12, 14. And those couple of calls on the serves, you wonder if that can get into their head a little bit. Oh, and the net caught again going in the favor of coach. Even coach just threw her hands up right there and she's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> they can't catch a break with the net, Cargis and Quarter. 12, 14, 2. So 12, 14, 2. Yeah. All right, back to a one point game. This is a big serve here. 13, Chance to 14, get it two. back to square or give up the serve. Facing the elimination and instead it's the latter. It was there for the drive quarter. Just came out of the motion a little too quickly to 14, try to slide 13, back one. to the right. Second 
coach is trying to end it right there. But we'll move to the second serve, 14-13-2. 14, 13, 2. Oh, they, they are able to hold yeah. and get the serve Still back. Got life. 13, 14, 1. Quarter with a lob. Oh, what an Ooh. angle played by Corder. Right off the edge of the paddle, still kept it in. I'm surprised she didn't step forward a little early, though, after throwing up that lob to coaches. But she's still got up to the kitchen anyway. 14 apiece. And we're going to extra pickleball in this race to 15. Coaches. Plays the angle there. Yeah, I think Corda has to let Carr just take that one. She comes over, ends up leaving a nice 14, angle for 14, coaches 14. to finish. They switch sides, and then Corda hits it out. Side up. God, just, just a little frustrated with herself right there. Had 14, the opportunity. 14, one. Tried to do just a little too much with it. Well, that's a very good ball from Wainio. Little hesitation from Corda after hitting the return. Didn't quite get up to 15, the kitchen fast 14, enough. One. So this is game point number four for Wainio and coaches. They just catch the line. And then into the net. We go to game point number five. Little tight, little tight. Some drama here in the consolation bracket on championship court. The drama continues. <laughs> Nobody wants to end it. Quarter and Cargis getting it back. Cargis will take over the serve. Excuse me. Now Cargis looked like she was going to serve. It's quarter serve. 14-15-1. 14-15. That's a wow. good ball from Coaches. Corda was hugging the middle there after that ball went out wide to the partner, Kajis. And 14, Coaches 15, just 15. pushes that one wide, gets her on the run. Corda tries to throw up the lob. Ooh, and then misses. Yeah, she tried to play the angle, and then that's a costly error. It's going to give Wayne on Coaches another chance to close this out. But not before a timeout at Takea Hydration Break here in Naples, Florida. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Takea, hydration is an all-day game. And by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, save the date, April 26th to May 3rd, 2025. Well, Wainio and Karchis, they've had Chad five chances to close this one out and they're going to get chances number six and if needed number seven here
I think it's safe to say Karen Coach is going to come out with pretty aggressive sub here. Time in. Wouldn't surprise me if they don't sub and drive that third. Indeed, they did drive the third. And quarter. That's the match. I think Quarter just missed that one. Wainio called it out wide. She wasn't. Quarter thought she caught the line. I'm I'm curious to see a replay. The well, the ref said it, it was out. So so this match is over. 16-14. Here's another look at the Franklin X40 replay. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> tough, tough from that angle. We can't quite see space. Man, I don't know. There is no, uh, there is no official replay challenge here, but that, uh, that one was awfully, awfully close. One more look at it. Can we freeze it? Uh, oh man, D yeah, it's tough to tell. It is uh, if it cut the angle or not. But quarter, and car just, you know what? They, 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 they dug themselves a hole. Yeah. So moving on to possibly be able to still win a bronze, our Wayne and coaches will step aside for a quick moment. And when we come back, we'll continue our coverage from the women's senior pro doubles bracket here on this thirsty Thursday at Naples. Ready for a real cocktail? Grab a Zing Zang ready to enjoy cocktail in a can. America's number one Bloody Mary mix with vodka. Zing Zang classic margarita, tequila included. Mango margaritas made with tequila and real mango puree. And whiskey sours with real Kentucky bourbon. Real cocktails, real ingredients, really good. Zing Zang full strength canned cocktails. Legendary taste, legendary day. Always ready. Just, oh, sorry, Kesner is in the, uh, is in is in the, Back here in Naples, Florida, you see the women's senior pro semifinal coming up next. It will be Bagby and her teammate Todorovic Shaw against Carter and Kesner. And you see the teams getting warmed up right now here on Zing Zang Championship Court. Chad Edwards, how do you handicap this one? Well, you know, Bagby, and sure, coming in is the one seed, but I have to look back in the draw for Kesner and Carter, and they took out the 
five seed, Alex Hamner and Lee Whitwell, 11-4 and 11-2. And that's a pretty convincing win right there. So I think I may give the slight edge to Bagby and Shaw. Bagby won gold here last year. She has some experience with the conditions. Kesner has been here a few times as well. And then Molly Carter, her partner, only been playing pickleball for about two years, newer to the Senior Pro Tour. Kesner and Carter in the round of 16 had a two-game victory, but it was 12-10, 12-10. That's a tight one. So, should be an interesting matchup here as it is the one seed against the four seed with a berth in the gold medal match on the line. Natalie Bagby out of California. Kim Kesner out of Colorado. As is Molly Carter. There's a look at Molly in the white. Let's look at the resume for Natalie Bagby. Pacific Palisades, California to be exact. And senior pro mixed doubles partner with Dane Gingrich. So watch out for that. That's a pretty strong tandem right there. She's pretty well decorated. And her teammate for this one will be Natalia Todorovic Shaw. Yeah, I was talking to Kim Kesner before this one, and as we see Kim on the on the screen right there, talking to referee Trish Winrow. Uh, Molly Carter is 49 and a half years old, so she's pickleball age 50. So Kim's like, you know, I have to I have to try to grab my partners when they're young and fresh to the <laughs> fresh to the senior tour. As they get the final words here, Natalie Bagby from Pacific Palisades of Vichyuja, but actually originally from France. She's been a senior pro since 2021. Grew up a Steffi Graf fan in tennis. Right on cue, she waves to the camera. Good look at the crowd here on this Thursday. So Chad, I sent uh, a number of the players that we figured had a chance to be on championship court, some questionnaires prior to the start of the tournament. And I put some put some kind of crazy questions in there just to I just to kind of see the personality that might come out. A lot of people opted not to answer well, some of them. So I, I'll, I'll give you a backstory on it. Simone's filling something out. And she's like, who comes up with these stupid <laughs> questions? And then I see the email. I see, I, then I see your list right here. I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. She, <laughs> yeah. She's the one. She's like, oh, I, I, I'm not a fan of these questions about going back in time. Or what. I think she put, like, I only live in the present. Or something yeah, I like was that. just, well, some people just left them blank, you know? I just figured, hey, you don't know what you're going to get for some answers. And I put, you know, for, for Natalie Bagby, uh, did she put the time travel question? Did she answer that one? Let's see. I don't know if she answered that one. Oh, yeah, she says... For uh, her her time travel question, if you had a time machine, where would you go first? She says her tennis club, where she learned to learn to play tennis at Havre Athletic Club, HAC. And and then the other the other crazy question was, what are your thoughts on extraterrestrials? I offered yes. no context whatsoever. <laughs> that one just came out of the blue. And Natalie says, if we're here, they must be here. Why not? 
Some people said they'd like to teach them to play pickleball. Some people said, I hope they don't play pickleball because uh, they may have multiple arms. Two, one, two. So a quick start here for Bagby and Shaw. They take the, the one nothing lead. Oh, oh that's yeah. a nice forehand there from Carter. Sat up nicely. So over to Carter and Kesner for the serve. Zero, one, one. Kim Kesner. Always a smile on her face. And that is wide. Good spot there from Kesner. It looked like she didn't get enough on it, but jammed up short. One, one, one. Second serve. Into the net for the second serve. One, one, two. Out. And a side out. So, Chad Edwards, I notice you have a, a Diet Coke there in front of you. I do. I one, do. One, I go one. everywhere with Diet Coke. So, we had a little bit of fun with Chad. <laughs> not me. I'm not taking this one. But I'm not. I, I, I will say that I played along, but I was not the mastermind. Uh, so, I don't want to get caught in any collateral no, damage I, on any I, crossfire. I, I, I threw out, I threw out the, the plug last year for Diet Coke. You know? Second and, our, and, our, and I said, said uh, you know, any... If, if Coca-Cola is out there, they want to send me free products, you know, send it to me. I got a, I got a nice two, phone one, call two. afterwards from an executive in, uh, in Tampa. So anybody out there listening, if you want free Coke products, take down this number right now. 813-453-6511. Can you give that number one more time yes. for people one, two, who might one. not have had a pen? Free Coke products, 813 Four five three six five one one. <laughs> and just ask for Terry. Terry will take care of everything. Oh, uh, that is too good. And, and uh, we hear Terry's phone's already blown up. So the backstory is Chad, Chad last year says that. And that happened, by the way, when I had stepped away. So all this happened, I come back and I'm like, what's going on? They're like, oh my gosh. So, so, so Terry. Uh, happens to also be the name uh, uh, Terry, our, our graphics coordinator in in the truck, does a fantastic job with digital Three, two, wave productions, actions, and CBS Sports Network, and all that. Um, uh, somehow, the guys in the truck were like, "Oh, Terry, t Chad doesn't have your phone number, so you need to you need to reach out." So they knew you were on air, so you wouldn't be able I, to answer. I, I, I couldn't answer it. Yeah, and he, he leaves you a voicemail and said that he heard you and Three, he wants two, to hook two. you up. I even I even researched it. There's a there, there's a Coke distribution up in Tampa with a guy an executive whose name is Terry. Terry. <laughs> so it all somehow played out and then and then Melissa and I kind of got cued into it so we Two, three, played one. along and you know kind of let you let you continue to be excited about it and then when we got off the air after championship Saturday our executive producer Ray Kolyakova brought everybody together and uh, and introduced you to Terry yeah, no, I'm not crying. I'm, not crying. I'm just wiping the sweat off. Three, three, one. <laughs> but you did get a free case or a free 12 pack of Diet Coke today out I of the did. deal. I did. So, big, big fan of, of Diet Coke. So, 3 3 here as we get that story out of the way. And now 4 3. 4 3 1. I do want to know what kind of calls Terry's going to get on his phone back there in the truck. Second Ooh, Shaw wants that one back. It was a good short ball for her to step up and drive. Just didn't quite use the four, legs three, enough. Two. Stayed a little tall. So 4-3-2. Side out. And back over to Kesner and Carter. 3-4-1. Three, Yeah. 
Oh, it landed in. It did. Ooh, they called it out, though. Second serve. I thought it landed in, too. We got a replay of that one in the truck. No protest coming Three, out four, of two. Kisner and Carter. Side out. Right down the boulevard for the winner. And the side out. Four, three, one. No. Oh, Bagby Second, had it. She just tried to go cross body on Carter too far. Ends up pulling that one wide. So four, three, two. A little tough on the uncoil out of the stack there. Four, three, two. Especially if you really miss your spot. Kesner was ready for the speed up. And then the unforced error. So we're getting word that the uh, Terry's phone number has now been put up on the, on the chat on YouTube. So let's look at Jim Ludwig enjoying the festivities. Longtime US Open Pickleball Tournament Director. And that lob lands in. Yeah, perfect lob there from Shaw, using the wind to the advantage. Getting that one Six, blow three, down two. just inside the baseline. Point. And a good drive there from Time Bagby, out. catching Kesner. Feet minute. still moving, trying to get up to the kitchen line after that return. Kesner and Carter will use a timeout to try and stop this momentum. We take a quick Takea hydration break. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Nature Made, the official vitamin of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Arnicare, fragrance-free pain and bruise relief. Up your game without the pain. Available where you shop. And by Franklin, the official bag of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And remember, you can purchase the official U.S. Open Pickleball Championships apparel at kitchpickleball.com. Back here in Naples, Florida. You know, not all the questions that I asked were crazy. Uh, Kim Kesner, I asked her, what's your favorite personal pickleball memory or experience? And she said, winning a game against Ben Johns in Vail, Colorado, then her partner, Zane Navrat uh, Navratel, must have uh, been her partner, started hitting the balls all to Ben and couldn't believe how quickly they lost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Point. net cord to net cord. That one just a little unlucky oh, there for Bagby. Caught it a little too close to the net post. Carter and Kesner got a little bit of ground to catch up now. Second That's not going to help with it. Kesner's a little frustrated right there. So the wind, as we've talked about it, it comes and goes in here. Right now, it's it's picked up a little bit, and that ball just died. Right. As we see it there from Bagby as well. But on the far end for Carter and Kesner, the ball's not really coming up right now. Four, seven, two. So they need to get up to it a little bit closer, a little bit quicker, try to take it on the rise instead of letting it drop. That's going to be wide. So it tightens up here. At Five seven. Timeout. Yeah, quick timeout from Bagby Five, after seven, two, two one minute. unforced errors. All right, we'll take a very brief break as well here from Naples, Florida. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's by Fat Tire, crisp, clean, and refreshing. The perfect post-play beer by Zing Zang. The number one Bloody Mary brand is on fire with Zing Zang blazing Bloody Mary. 
and by Deco Turf, the official pickleball court surface of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Back here in Naples, those flags have been very active the last couple of days. Well, one of them's up there wrapped around, so you can tell how much the wind's blowing it. At one point, there were two wrapped around, so one was able to come loose. Well, they come around with a stick and unpoke them every time they get wrapped up. Is a good call. Kesner with the lob, and that's going to go long. So good use of the timeout there by Sean Bagby. Seven, five, one. Nice job going up to get it by Kim Kesner. Kesner will take that one any day. Just throw me up a nice mid lob that I can hit a nice hot overhead. Seven, five, two. Sure, it had some success with that lob, that one. It's got a little too much elevation on it, not enough extension. Side out. The firefight is won by Kesner and Carter. They'll get the serve back, trailing by two. Five, seven, one. Relentless attack from Bagby right there. Carter doing a good job getting it back, but then Bagby creates that angle just out of the reach of Kesner. Five, seven, two. Catches it off the end of the paddle. Side out. Mm, Kesner couldn't quite get to that one. And a side out. Again, this is the semifinals. Women's pro senior doubles. Seven, five, one. Oh, that ball's just white. Surprised they didn't call Second a distraction third. right there. Yeah, with the, uh, yeah, there was some random music that got played on the court, but the, the players played on to their credit. Seven, five, two. Five, two. Oh, nice angle there from Kesna. I thought the return was going to go out when she hit it, but it just landed inside the baseline and actually pushed Bagby back deep. Five, seven, oh, he was one. tuning the guitar and didn't realize, didn't realize that it, was it turned on. <laughs> Second serve. Eight straight five, seven, serves two. combined here without a point for these two sides. Who's going to end that drought? Side out. Drought will continue. It's a little off balance there from Kesna after it caught the net cord. Bagby trying to play an angle, but couldn't get it up over the net. Seven, five, two. Oh, right in the body. Good shot there from Carter. 
Shaw was sitting on the forehand, expecting that ball to go back through the middle after a couple of attacks on Bagby, who'd been forced back. Five, seven, one. Bagby trying to play that Ooh, back corner and she that just misses. or out? Or deep, I should say. Point. Maybe both, but Kes it was close. Kesner called it wide. I don't think it was wide. I can't overrule the call. Call stands. Well, that ends a run of 11 straight serves without a point. Bagby still shaking her head in disagreement. Well, she was looking around at us to try to get any information. We didn't give her anything. <laughs> Without a replay, can't be for certain that I wouldn't give the information anyway. Not that the information is helpful, even if we could give it. It's seven, seven, one, one minute. There is no official replay review here in Naples. Seven all, we'll get a timeout and a quick Takea hydration break. Huh? I, I mean, it was a fly. Might have been deep. I don't know. We didn't see the replay. That's why I was watching Kim's hand, and she said, no, it was now wide. I was like, if anything, it may have been close to the baseline, but it certainly wasn't wide. <laughs> Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. Well, that, uh, that close call, point of conversation among some of the fans here before that timeout. But in any case, seven apiece here in this first game of this women's senior pro doubles semifinal. Winner of this will take on the winner of Mitten Atkins against Cordich and Williams. On this Thursday afternoon in Naples. Time in, seven, seven, one. Kesner, too much on that. Didn't get the paddle on it the way she wanted. So Carter will take over the serve. Kim. Excuse seven, me, Kesner seven, taking over the serve. It was Carter who side out. had served that side out in any case. Gets it over to Sean Bagby. It's been a while since Sean Bagby have put up a point, Chad. Seven straight serves for them without one. At one point had a 7-3 seven, seven, lead. All right, as you said that, and they get their, their first point in a while. But, yeah, I thought uh, when, they were, when they were up 7-3 seven, seven, that... They were, they kind of cruised to victory in game one here, Point. but good job by Carter and Kesner to bring it back, but unfortunately two quick unforced errors. Now this puts Nine, Bagby seven, and Shaw two points away from taking game one. Good spot there from Kesner. It was excellent defense from Bagby to get them back into that point and up to the kitchen line. Kesner finds that left hip of Shaw after she was wanting to sit on the forehand side. Nine seven two. Go deep, so 10 7 2. And 
game point for back being Shaw. 10-7-2. Timeout receivers. And a timeout Ten, seven, will be used two, by Kesner and Carter, trying to see if they can get the serve back. We'll take a quick break here from Naples, Florida. Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Latitude, Margaritaville, and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude, Margaritaville. By Skechers Pickleball. Experience comfort that performs with the Viper Court Pro. By Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast and by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. Beautiful Thursday afternoon in Naples, Florida. Been the home to the US Open Pickleball Championships since 2016. No doubt this tournament has been a huge part of the explosion of this sport nationally and now starting to take off internationally as well. Kesner, a very friendly. Oh, three balls off the yeah. net caught. Uh, oh. Not a fourth. <laughs> Flooding with danger right there and it ends up Going into the net there for Kesna. Good defense from Bragby to keep him in that point. So 11 7 in game one. And we'll take a look at the Franklin X40 replay with some of those balls going off of that net. Well, no, we didn't give you the ones that went over, just the one in to the net. We'll take a timeout. It's a Kia hydration break game two coming your way in just a few moments here from Naples, Florida. done for the day and so is my shoulder. Reach for Arnicare when sore muscles take you out of the game. This scientifically formulated pain reliever has no strong medicine smell, no greasy residue, and can be applied directly to where it hurts. Arnicare is powered by Arnica, an ingredient that has been trusted for centuries to provide relief for muscle pain, stiffness, and bruising. Don't let pain stop you from doing what you love. Reach for Arnicare and get back into the game. Available where you shop. with Nature Made, the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. At first, it was just a team. Now I can't imagine my life without them. That coach changed our son on the field and off. Thursday, see some of those numbers. Carter and Kesner. 17 unforced errors. Don't really know that that was the biggest factor in that one, but they did battle back. You were right. It looked like Sean Bagby were going to run away with it early in game one. So let's see if Kesner and Carter can figure out a way to. Get out to a lead here in game two and make this thing interesting. Best two out of three. Yeah. 
And Bagby with a put away. Well, I think the biggest thing for me in that point right there is Shaw has made an adjustment now as far as knowing that Kesner is going to go at that left hip and test the backhand anytime that ball's in front. Kesner got her a couple of times when Shaw was sitting on the forehand. Point there, made the adjustment, just reset off the backhand. Played shot there by Shaw. And that shot was set up the point before. Shaw came all the way over. Actually got outside the sideline so she could sit one, hard two, on a one. forehand if, if Kesner decided to go down the line. And then Kesner ended up bumping one and just nice inside out through the middle. Point. And then goes five hole for a second point. Kesner into the net. Nice defense by Bagby and Shaw there to eventually force that error by Kim Kesner. Oh, she had a good set up there from Shaw. Nice drive down the line. Ball popped Three, up off right Kesner's paddle, but Shaw just got a little too big with the take back. Bagby tried to get there, could not, and the side out will give Carter and Kesner a chance here to cut into this small deficit. from Bagby. Tough for Carter to keep that one in when the ball's so low. Molly Carter will one, take three, over as the second server. Nice job tracking down the lob by Carter, but then that really I put know. Carter and Kesner in a precarious position and they're unable to bounce back. Yeah, that was an excellent offensive lob there from Shaw. Didn't have a whole lot of height on it, but it was the motion that she Three, went one, to that one. ball and she got it off the paddle quickly. All four smiles one, right one. now for Bagby and Shaw. Point. <laughs> Even the net is on their <laughs> side, it seems. Not getting any love from the net right now for Kesner Five, and Carter. One, one. Ooh, great job playing that lob going backwards. Well, that's a that's a tough pickup there from Bagby. Kind of twisted her Six, around one, a little one, bit. She had to minute. contort the body just to get it back. Bagby and Shaw in control. Carter and Kesner taking a timeout. 
U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Yola for the champion in you. By Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand. And by Paddle Tech, the paddle of champions. Let's go again. Well, Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades comprise the Sports in Paradise Coast. Find out more at sportsinparadise.com. Is Naples in your mind the epicenter of uh, the pickleball, the pickleball world? Uh, I, I think it still is, but it's uh, it's spread so quickly across the country now. You've got you've got parts of, of Texas and, and Arizona and California, Utah that are that are trying to catch up. Second serve. I, we couldn't catch up to that one. Yeah, it's you know, it's it is funny because I remember for a long time coming here and then going back to California and it was like Six, one, nobody two. still knew, knew what it was. Yeah. And I felt like California was so far behind the curve and now it's now it's blown up. Side out. Side out after that one goes long. But I mean, even even if you look within within Florida and you look at West Coast here with Naples and you one, go across six, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, the, there's not the access to, to courts on the east coast of Florida like you have here on the west coast. Now the east coast is trying is is starting to catch up, but you know, right here with East Naples Community Park, it was it was kind of the, the first one, of its six, kind two. to go with this many courts in one location. Oh, again. Nice defense to keep this alive by Carter and Kesner. And Kesner finally able to put it away. I thought Shaw had Kesner and Carter beat with that offensive lob again. She's hiding it well, but fantastic job from Carter getting there and, and putting it back. And then they just flipped it. Defense into offense. I thought that they were dead to rights for Defense sure two. on that lob, but instead they get it back to 2 6 here in a must win game. Side out. Good eye there from Shaw. Very easy, very tempting to want to get a paddle on that one from Kesna. Ended up being well Six, out. Two, one. She caught a little bit of the she net. <laughs> I mean, it's not enough to pick up a dig from an overhead, let alone hit an overhead into the top of the net court, and it just kicks and doesn't bounce Seven, at two, all. One. Another good get there from Carter off the offensive lob from Shaw. Point. I think uh, Shaw's, Shaw's playing a little looser now. She's not uh, not worrying about making some 81. mistakes. She's throwing up those offensive lobs, being a little more aggressive on the drive. Football right top on the line. Uh, that's the last thing Kesner and Carter needed. Bagby and Shaw, they've they found a groove here. They've got their nine points and 13 serves nine, two, one. in the second game. Second serve. Bagby wants that one back. She was ready for the floater through the middle, but just got a little too big. Nine, two, two. 
Two. Nothing Kesner could do with that one. And that will take us to match point for a berth in the gold medal match for Bagby and Shaw. 10-2-2. Well, that time the net is not on their side. Carter and Kesner still breathing. I would have liked to see Shaw be a little bit more patient there. Two ten one. Ball was a little too close to the net to be able to speed up. Point. Just wide, so make it three ten. Stranger things have happened. Three, ten, one. Tried to catch up to it, but too much ground to cover after the finesse shot. So three, ten, two. Three, ten, two. Good use of the lob there again from Shaw. Just doing it. A good job keeping Kesner and Carter off balance. Back on the heels. Ten, three, Match one. point number two for the side of Bagby and Shaw. Second, third. And they will go to a third. Yeah. Last point's always the hottest. They've had three cracks at it. You Lucky for them, they've got a comfortable margin, three but for now, three, ten, for now, one. exactly. Oh, just there. out. And looked good off the paddle there from Carter, but it just continued to float. Three, ten, two. Side out. Well, we'll get a fourth try at it and a fifth if necessary. Ten, three, one. I think if the return goes to Shaw right here, he's going to throw up a third shot lob. Oh, not going to get that. And that will do it. So back being Shaw, they're moving on. 11-7, 11-3 in consecutive games. And they will have a berth on Zing Zang Championship Court to play for a gold medal. Your Franklin X-40 replay on match point. Yeah, good job from, from Bagby right there. Kesna outreach ends up popping it up. Just a little too far on the extension and a good finish there from Shaw. We will take a quick breather back to Naples, Florida with more of our coverage of the 2024 Minto US Open Pickleball Championships coming up. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships.
Don't leave pickleball behind when you leave the court. Pickleball Channel gives you the world of pickleball in your hands, covering the entire sport. Dive deep into the world of pickleball and keep your game going with Pickleball Channel. Back here in Naples, Florida, and down on championship court, Rusty House, who did a great job doing the play-by-play -play earlier in the week, is standing by from Pickleball Channel with news about the Pickleball Legacy Scholarship Fund. Rusty? Hey, everybody. It's exciting to be here. This is, this is the third time we've been talking about the Pickleball Legacy Scholarship Foundation, and we got some fun audio happening here. But anyway... Once again, I am joined with Rob Davison, who is the founder of the Pickleball Legacy Scholarship Foundation. Rob, this is the first of its kind scholarship. Years ago, you decided to start it for junior, ball, junior pickleball players in college. Uh, tell us what this is about. Uh, so it's, it's actually not uh, for the juniors in college, but going to college. Yes, current juniors yeah. going to college. Everybody? We're fixing the audio stuff, hang in there. I think online they can hear us. So Rob, go ahead. Yeah, so it's for uh, juniors that are going to college in the near future. Um, it's for juniors that are going to college. So this is the third year that PLS has awarded scholarships to four of the juniors. We do the gold medal junior boys winners and then the gold medal uh, junior girls doubles winners and that uh, scholarship goes to the school once they get admitted uh, for their college tuition and you guys are future scholarship recipients right you know more and more juniors are coming in so how long you've been playing and what do you love about pickleball tell us your name too tell the world your name um hi my name is danny phillips i've been playing for eight years now um my favorite thing about pickleball is the connections you can make. No other sport lets a 10-year-old play against a 90-year-old, have it be competitive. And you have so many much more friends here than any other sport in the world. You get some applause for that. And so, how about we're going to go down the line just real quick. Leo Chung, you've been on this court with me before, ball boy years ago. What do you love about pickleball? What I love about pickleball is all about the juniors and honestly being adults. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to swing all the way over for you, give you a chance too. Why don't you tell us your name and uh, what you're excited about the Open? Okay. Um, my name is Lizzie McFarland, and I'm excited to play. <laughs> you're, so what am I? you're good. You're good. What are you excited about this week? You're playing, um, right? Yeah. Well, I'm excited to have some fun and play with uh, my mixed partner and my woman's partner. Well, the exciting part for me is more and more young people. Some of you guys saw last night there was a whole bunch of kids under 12, and they were crushing it. There's actually more kids, but some of them are like, our bracket, our bracket starts at 4 o'clock. We don't know if we can come out. So Pickleball's trumping the scholarship right now, maybe, but they can still win, right, whether they're here or not. Everybody else, remember, wherever you are, if you're passionate about young people having a chance to go to college, because it's a little bit more expensive nowadays, how can they find out more? Where would they go? Uh, visit our website at pblegacy.com. All right, you guys, congratulations. I hope you have a great tournament. Everybody, give a round of applause for the juniors. And there's more pickleball to come. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Rusty. And uh, all those youngsters can get up there and say, today, 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 I consider myself, 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 the luckiest man, man on the face of the earth. Do you know that? I do. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, apologize for the audio, but I mean, I got to tell you what, I, I, uh, they were all troopers. That is something in the business we call mix minus. Uh, when it's not appropriately adjusted and you're hearing yourself coming back through your own headset, and it can be really, really tough to be able to get through that. So they handled it like pros. That was amazing. Yeah, I had I actually had my headset off and we had we only had a double in here, but it was a triple out there. So it was that was certainly tough. All right, we're taking a quick breather. When we come back, semifinal number two in the women's uh, pro seniors division here from Naples, Florida. Stay. 
Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. Here on Florida's Paradise Coast, you can't help but think, if only every beach was this beautiful. If only every adventure was this exciting. If only every dinner was this special. If only every sky was this dramatic. All of which proves one thing. When you want a vacation to deliver only the finest of everything, only paradise will do. Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going! Welcome back to Naples, Florida. We continue our live coverage of the 2024 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Dave Benz hanging out with Chad Edwards. Glad you could be along on this Thursday. And we have reached the second semifinal here in the Women's Senior Pro Doubles Division. Sarah Mitten out of Hilton Head, South Carolina, and her teammate Mary Helen Atkins out of Arizona will take on Lily Cordage Mueller and Kara Williams, who are both out of Carlsbad, California, for a berth in the finals. And we will be getting this match underway very shortly here from Naples.
So here we go. We are underway. That was a, a quick start. <laughs> it seemed like they were going to be a little bit longer <laughs> on the warm-ups there, Chad. And all of a sudden, uh, they, they just said, okay, let's get this thing going. Kind of caught us a little bit off guard. But thankfully, they were ready to go. Well, we were waiting for our camera guy to walk out there and, and get in the faces of the players and the servers coming as soon as he stepped on the court. So Kordic and Williams strike first here. Right out, right out. And the winner down the line by Mitten. Yeah, Sarah Mitten does an excellent job of hiding that inside end forehand. She sets up like she's going to take it cross court, turns the body, and then just a quick flick of the paddle. That is Mitten and Atkins in the near court. Atkins on the right, Mitten on the left. Kara Williams on the far court is in the gray, and Lily Cordich Mueller is in the white. Ooh, to the net that from was, the back line. <laughs> <laughs> that was the long route for Cordich Mueller right there. <laughs> I don't know. I, she may have missed the sign coming from Kara Williams because she went straight to the kitchen line and then right angle back across. And that is out. Point, point. So one and all, or excuse me, uh, two nothing now. Is there a one? Yeah. Just checking with the official to make sure they're in the right need, spot here. I need your band a little bit more visible. To so me. a few years ago, band, you know, it, yes. it would have been if so if Cordage had it served it. right there, it would have been a fault. But now, referees Who's help out one? by putting it in the right spot. You just have to be the yes, the referee, right server, right spot. Ooh. Atkins, foot? right foot or left foot? Or right foot, excuse me. Right foot, okay. I thought it was right foot. And it's then, like and he then, heard and you. Then, and then Don one? said left foot. I was like, okay, maybe I missed that one. But it was the right foot. Point. Point. And just like that, a 4 nothing advantage here for Cordage and Four, Warriors. Zero, one. Williams hits it wide. And a good ball there from Atkins going Four, across zero, the two. body of Williams. Nice defense by Atkins. Better offense there. Oh, oh. they get that. Oh. Atkins playing amazing oh. defense. <laughs> Oh, the flick again. <laughs> what a point. No. And it ends on the finesse drop. Wow. That's as good as you're going to see, folks. Nice overhead there from Cordich. And then the dig from Atkins. Oh, watch this one all in its entirety for the replay. They have another point like this <laughs> may still be going by the time the replay is done. That was really, really good. That was so good. One for one. one. See if they can carry that momentum here now. No, point. point. Good ball there from Sarah Minton. Williams, just a little bit of hesitation. Two, four, one. one. 
seconds. Oh, Mueller, Cordage Mueller, kind of giving Sarah Mitten a taste of her own medicine right there. Sets up like she's going to go back cross court with the inside out forehand. And then just drops that right foot back. Two, four, two. Flicks it, rolls it across the body of Sarah Mitten. Lot carries long. So back to a one Four, point two, game one. here. Excuse me, the side out gets it to back over to Cordage and Williams. to the net by Mitten. And a spin put on those forehands there from Williams. Using the feet to get all the body all the Five way around one. that ball and can really be aggressive with the cut. Don't typically see that on the forehand. And Williams Second trying center. to go over to Atkins, misfires. Five, two, two. Atkins into the net. Six two two. Oh, it looked like that stayed in, and indeed it did. Yeah, Atkins just turned to to Mitten right there and said, "Did that catch?" Looked like it just caught the line Seven, as it slid two, past. Oh, that's good attacks there from Cordich Mueller. And a timeout is going to be taken eight, two, here two, by Mitten and Atkins as suddenly it is an 8-2 margin here in game one of this semifinal from Naples, Florida. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Takea, hydration is an all-day game. And by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, save the date April 26th to May 3rd, 2025. Good look at Zing Zang Championship Court here on this Thursday, thir Thursday, Thirsty Thursday. I can't even say it. <laughs> thirsty Thursday. You're, you're thirsty right now. That's the issue. Yeah, that is the issue. Dave Benz, Chad Edwards, happy to have you along. Tomorrow, we will start the live stream an hour earlier, 1 p.m. Eastern. And then we will switch over to CBS Sports Network at 4 o'clock Eastern. So it will be a pretty exciting day here at Championship Court. Out of the timeout, 8-2-2. Nice drop there from Williams out of the timeout. Cordich and Williams not really Nine, feeling two, two. a whole lot of pressure right now. They're the ones that are controlling the points, moving the ball around, taking the opportunities to speed up when they receive it. Right as I say that, Side Mitten up. takes the opportunity as well. Nice little backhand roll. Cordich had kind of slid to the line to try to clear a forehand, and Williams was giving a little too much space in the middle as well.
The Ernie, well defended. Oh. And then finally the put away as Cordich goes up high to be able to finish it. Mitten and Atkins, not much they could do there. They were running all over the court, getting everything back. And this last one just a little too high. Good ball there from Cordich down to the feet of Atkins. I remember watching Cordich last year. She certainly errs on the more aggressive side. She does quite a good job at it as well. Oh, that one's just out. Your frankly, Franklin X40 replay. On the line. Mitten misses that one as she tries to bring it back in. Mitten wanted that one that she no, had to not. hit to be out. It wasn't. Nine, three, one. Yeah, just wide. Can see some red between the ball and the and the line. Second, Good ball there from Mitten. They chose not to stack on this one. They're going to hold again. Let's give it a little different Nine, three, look. Two. Cordich with the power game and it pays dividends. Takes Cordich and Williams to game point number one. 10, 3, 2. And the unforced game. there to finish it off, 11, 3. Two minutes, change in, And Mitten and Atkins won the point of the match, or at least the exchange of the match, but they didn't get enough points and fall 11-3 here. No, it was a, it was a uh, in, impressive first game for Cordich and Williams. They came out strong, put the pressure on, never really let go and, and just kept on being aggressive. And good ball movement there from Williams to end that one. And game two of this semifinal coming your way after this timeout from Naples. is never easy, but staying on top is just as hard. Winning becomes more than a goal. It becomes an expectation. Practices get longer, training more intense. Every game needs to be your best because that's what you're going to get. So is it all worth it? Paddle tech. Let's go again. It's less beer.
people play pickleball for exercise, competition, or to hang out with friends. What your reason is doesn't matter to Gamma. What matters is that you play, that you enjoy playing with passion, and you have so much fun, you can't wait to play again. At Gamma, we offer paddles perfect for all levels, including yours, because pickleball is about you, the player, and what feels right. Pickleball is your game. Make Gamma your paddle. Play to live. Live to play. Gamma Pickleball. See the numbers, Cornish and Williams, they played a much cleaner first game. And as a result, come up with that 11 to three victory in game one. Zero, zero, two. Mitten and Atkins will start game two with the serve. Never had the lead in game one, so they'd love to flip that script, but instead. Well, even, even with 11 errors right there, it's not too unclean of a, a zero, match zero, for Mitten one. and Atkins. It's just Cordich and Williams put so much pressure on. They weren't getting outright winners, but they were going into the body. They were forcing the mistakes. You can see Cordich, all she wants to do is, is hit power shots, and Williams is fine with being the, the finesse player. Set it up, put it down. I mean, Cordage, Cordage can move the ball around as well, but yeah, if you give her an opportunity where she can speed something up, she's going to take it. Second serve. Williams a little frustrated there. She took a step back with that left foot. Didn't really need to, One kind of threw off the timing. Great exchange there and a good decision to lay off of it at the last second by Cordich. I don't know if she was trying to lay off of it, but she just couldn't quite get to it. It worked out well. But again, I mean, Cordich just has, has so much power. Getting it into the body, jamming up Mitten right there on the last one. That does not land in bounds. Or did it? Did it catch the line? No. No, the ball just went wide. Zero, two, one. Second that serve. carries long. Zero, two, two. Franklin X40 replay. Zero, two, two. Point. Cordage gets handcuffed a little bit and Mitten and Atkins are on the board. One, two, ten. The ATP One. by Atkins. Yeah, nice job there from Atkins. Caught up with it. Cordage Mueller was ready for the ATP defense, but she was sitting a little bit lower and Atkins got that one up high. So for the first time in this match, Mitten and Atkins with a, a chance to go in front. But alas, it does not happen. Right idea, uh, idea there from Mitten and Atkins. Atkins came forward to put a little bit of pressure on, try to force that pop up off the Mitten drive, but Cordich just too good. And then Williams, she's mostly been finessed, but she had a little power there on that backhand. Three, two, one. Oh. Second, sir. Right behind the camera. 
Nice catch. Unfortunately, that one hit about halfway up the net there for Kara Three, Williams. 3-2-2. Mm. Side out. Frank Lennox 40 replaying. Coming right at you. Perfect. <laughs> Two, three, one. I want to see one actually hit the camera. Oh, she said, oh, <laughs> she had a chance to get it again. <laughs> Swing and a miss twice. Don't see that very often. Three, three, one. And we'll Second move to serve. three, three, two. What do you got there? Oh, you know, it's just a you hold the paddle. <laughs> three. <laughs> You're gonna share? <laughs> yes, you are. No, it was, <laughs> it was just it was just dropped off for for Landon. Three, three, nice. Ten. That's perfect. Landon, not happy he's not in the tournament this year. No, no. All his, uh, all his little rugrats that he runs around and plays with every weekend are role playing, so he's a little disappointed. Yes. <coughs> and for the first time, it's Mitten and Atkins with a lead here at 4-3. 4-3-2. Four, three. Four, three, Side up. Quickly, the serve back over to Cordich and Williams. Yeah, good pressure there to push Mitten back away from the baseline. Three, four, one. Second good seven. volley there from Mitten. Cordich didn't quite have as much pace on that drive as she previously had. Back on the heels just a little bit. Allowed Mitten to get that ball back deep. Nice backhand right at the feet of Williams by Mitten. Yeah, and I think that's the sequence there for Mitten and Atkins. Go a little bit wider to, to Williams. Kind of get her to force that ball Four, down three, the one. line, and then Atkins can take that ball out of the air, put more pressure on the on the cordage backhand. When she's standing in the middle Second there, she's third. just winding up and ripping the balls. Cordage out of Carlsbad, California, which is no right there outside four. of San Diego. No, it's over there. Yes, ma'am. She's an accountant when she's not on the pickleball court. Four, three, two. Sarah Mitten out of Hilton Head, South Carolina, a real estate broker. Point. Williams expressing her frustration after that one does not get over the net. Yeah, Williams just pulled across the body on that two hand backhand. Five, three, two. Didn't get the extension with the left hand to get that one through. Side up. Oh, missed. Missed serve there. So Cordage and Williams get it back at 3 5. Three, five, one. Cordich is all over that one. Minton, Minton held it okay. She disguised it okay, but Cordich is just looking for that ball in the middle. Four, five, one. Uh, 
That was interesting because Cordes said I got it and then Williams ends up hitting it and then neither one of them could get back to it. Left themselves vulnerable. Four, five, two. They will move to the Four, second five, serve. Two. Oh, good job there Sign from up. Minton. She got all crossed up. They were able to hit that tomahawk ish yeah, shot. Yep. Yeah. 5 4 1. Point. Grand miss one. there for Kordic on the return. Just pulled that one across the body. Nice shot there, though, by Kordic. Williams catches up to it off the net. Scorpion a winner there for Atkins. And that was all set up by the mitten forehand cross court. One, one this one right there, more aggressive, pulls her out wide. Cordage can't do anything on the backhand. So we're seeing you know, a, a, a change here in, in game two where they're finding the Cordage backhand a little bit more. Time out being taken by Cordage and Williams. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Nature Made, the official vitamin of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Arnicare, fragrance-free pain and bruise relief. Up your game without the pain. Available where you shop. And by Franklin, the official bag of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And remember, you can purchase the official U.S. Open Pickleball Championships apparel at kitchpickleball.com. Little coaching. Who's that? Who's that, Dave? Mara, are you? <laughs> Whose name I was so excited to say. <laughs> Mario Kart. There you go. His name is not Mario. He played really well yesterday. He and Dane Gingrich getting to the championship yesterday before finally falling in the gold medal I'm going match. To recall the score. Seven four one. So out of timeout, seven four one. Mitten and Atkins trying to get this to a game seven, three. Seven. Yeah, I was also almost going to say, probably look for Cordich to slide to her right a little bit more, try to clear that forehand. Even if it leaves a little bit of a gap, it almost baits Mitten and Atkins to go to the forehand side rather than trying to find the backhand. And that's two, the last two points out of the, out of the timeout. Cordich has been able to get that forehand. Four seven one. Second serve. To second serve. Four seven two. Four seven two. Good set up there from Cordich to go into the body of Atkins and then Williams steps over and finishes off with a couple of two hand backhands. But again, Cordich being allowed to rip that forehand. Yeah. 
Oh, that gets tried for another Scorpion. That time it goes into the net. So we are back to just a one point game. It's six, seven, two. Six, seven, two. Side up. Seven, six, one. See if Atkins and Mitt can get this to the finish line here. As the wind starts to pick up. The strongest gusts of the day. Big Second, forehand seven. there from Cordage Mueller. Honestly, if I was Atkins and Mitten, I would just be trying to find Seven, six, that backhand of Cordich or tie up Williams somehow, but anything through the middle has not been beneficial so far. Cordich with the backhand. Oh, tweener. Oh, tweener. Crowd loving that. Lob tracked down by Williams. Oh, nice touch there from Mitten. Williams almost looked like she was running in quicksand there for a second. That wasn't quite as good as that point we had in the first game, but that was a pretty close second. That tweener was impressive out of Mitten on the Franklin X40 replay. Mary Helen serving. Yes. Let's nominate the tweener, though, for a Sports Center top 10. How about that? There you go. Somebody put that on Twitter out to ESPN. Oh, that's pretty there from Williams. Good, good read right there. Atkins left just a little too quick. Well, it's going to be on the uh, Pickleball TV top 10, though, isn't oh, it? Oh, for sure. Six, eight, one. Oh, Pickle TV. On. That's great rallies here. Ooh. And then Cordich miscalculates. Six eight two. Six, eight, two. Point. And that's going to be wide. So back to just a one point game. Seven, eight, two. Cordage with a lob. Oh, nice lob. Oh. And then Cordage with the slam. I mean, that is so tough to do right there. Cordage was on the move, out of the air, throws up that offensive lob and just inside the baseline and then a big angle on the overhead. Eight, eight, two. Oh, and some love from the net. And a 9 8 advantage. Here. So now all kinds of momentum Purple for Cordage and Williams, and Mitten and Atkins are going to use a timeout, I believe, receivers. with Cordage and Williams two points Go away ahead. from being able to advance to the gold medal match. The Franklin X40 replay. Mitten not happy with the break there. Back to Naples in just a moment. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. 
by Fat Tire. Crisp, clean, and refreshing. The perfect post-play beer by Zing Zang. The number one Bloody Mary brand is on fire with Zing Zang Blazing Bloody Mary. And by Deco Turf, the official pickleball court surface of the US Open Pickleball Championships. Mitten and Atkins, one point, had a 7-4 advantage. But it has vanished, and right now they're on the wrong end of a 9-8 score. Already down a game. 9-8-2. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see if the timeout can sure. get them to serve back. No, I'll never smile again. Come in. another lob. That time Atkins tried to end it. Williams catches up to, oh, Cordich covering the oh, court. The How good is that? Again. And she had to be able to hit that one because that had gotten by her. Williams was off the court. Yeah, no. Anywhere else other than the forehand, I think Mitten and Atkins have that point. But nice reach and nice finish there from Cordich Mueller. That takes us to match point. Yeah, the unforced error keeps hope alive here for Mitten and Atkins. Yeah, just a little change up there. Williams broke the wrist and just flicked the paddle at it. Didn't go anywhere. 8-10-1. Since, since having that 7-4 lead, Mitten and Atkins have only gotten one point in their last five serves. You need that to change. And it does serve. not on that exchange. She does not get cheated on that swing, does Kordic. 8-10-2. That lob is long, side out. side out, and match point number two. 10 8 1. At the feet Second of Williams, seven. and well placed shot there by Atkins. Yeah, this time Mitten and Atkins got a lucky break off the net court. It just popped up nicely. Match point number three. Ooh, fighting over the middle there. So Mitten and Atkins continuing to hang in. 8-10-1. One point separating these two teams here in game two. 9-10-1. Oh, Atkins, great shot there. It's not done. Atkins and timeout receivers 10 10 1. Mitten want to push minute. this one to a third game, and that one just sitting a little too much middle. And we will have extra pickleball here in game two. Timeout being taken, and we will catch a very quick Takea hydration break. Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Latitude, Margaritaville, and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude, Margaritaville. By Skechers Pickleball. Experience comfort that performs with the Viper Court Pro. By Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast and by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. 
The crowd on the edge of their seats here in this semifinal. Game two, will we have a third? We go to extra pickleball here in game two. 11-3, Cordich and Williams took game one. And they trailed this one 7-4, came back to take the lead. They've blown three match point opportunities. And at 10-10-1, Mitten and Atkins trying to get back in front. Beat up by Atkins, ends up being what starts the end result. And it's 11-10, and we've got game point for Mitten Mick and Atkins. Oh, Atkins just pushed that wide, but Fantastic get from Kara Williams there on the aggressive backhand cross court dink from Sarah Mitten. I thought she had a beat. Somehow Williams was able to just drop it down the line a couple of inches above the net. Game point number two. 11, 10, two. Does just get over the oh. net. That one doesn't, though, and that's going to close out game two. Mitten and Atkins stave off three elimination points and come back to take it 12 10. We will play a third for a berth in the championship match, and we'll have that coming your way in just a moment. So, one more look at the decisive point with the Franklin X40 replay. Ready for a real cocktail? Grab a Zing Zang Ready to Enjoy Cocktail in a Can, America's number one Bloody Mary mix with vodka. Zing Zang Classic Margarita, tequila included. Mango margaritas made with tequila and real mango puree. And whiskey sours with real Kentucky bourbon. Real cocktails, real ingredients, really good. Zing Zang Full Strength Canned Cocktails. Legendary taste, legendary day. Always ready. Take a look at the numbers from that second game. And Chad, yesterday we only had one match go to three games, and it was the gold medal match, and it ended up being a pickle. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see if game three is a little bit more dramatic in this one. We'll see right here, but yeah, complete flip flop from zero, zero, one and ten. two as far as number of errors, but still, you know, these, these teams are so closely matched right now. Side up. And a side out to get this one started. Zero, zero, one. 
Oh, that's oh. tricky. Yeah, that, the deception on that and the execution, by the way, wasn't too shabby either. <laughs> Good sell right there from Sarah Minton with the body. There's nice, easy, controlled roll down the line. One, zero, one. That one's going to carry Sorry, along. Sarah. So one, zero, two. One, zero, two. Yeah, it, I was about to say the same thing that Kara Williams just said to herself. She said, why am I backing up? She needed to stay up at the kitchen line, take that out of the air. Once she backed up, let that ball bounce, it just ate her up. There was no way for her to be able to get that back over the net two, zero, and two. not pop it up to Atkins. So the pressure just forced it to go into the net. Winner of this one gets Bagby and Shaw Seven. in the championship. Right so two, one. We will have a consolation bracket race to 15 before the gold medal match. Nice finish there from Zero, Atkins. Two, two. Try to overhit it, just got that one to slide through the court. Touch. Oh, nice heads up play there. To come up, but I'm not so sure that they want to be on these sides. Oh, Mitten and Atkins had complete control of that point right there. Mitten just tried to cut it a little too fine. But a good read by Cordage there in the middle of that one. Over here. Yeah, we come over one. and cover and then Cordage did not want to be on that side of the court, no. but uh, <laughs> no. they were able to finish it off with success. Uh, with the backhand in the middle one, of the court, two, two. that's for sure. Tried to go up and get it, but it was just a little bit too high. Yeah, good touch there from Mitten. Hung up there a little bit longer than Cordage thought. She didn't really move the feet, just tried to flick at it. Two, one, one. Second serve. Mitten leaves it short. Two, one, two. Nice defense by Atkins. Uh, going for the ATP, but that one was out of her reach as well. Yeah, Kordich just no, not done. able to catch up to it. Gets it on that. There you go. On the edge guard right there. I, it, Three, again, one, it's smart for Minton and Atkins to go to the backside of Kordich. She's definitely not as strong, doesn't have as much power on that backhand side compared to the forehand. They figured that out pretty quickly, but they had a hard time making the adjustment. Yeah. And they feel like they have adjusted too much better. Williams, though, nice shot there. And the serve goes back over to Cordich and Williams at 1-3. One, 1-3-1. Three. One, three, one. Oh, just wide. Minton was trying to go backside. 
on Kordic there again. Kordic stepped over into the middle, anticipating the forehand. Two, three, one. I just missed it by a couple of inches. Great look at it there. Great work by our crew all week long here. Atkins goes up, and then, oh, she did catch the line. That was awfully tight. And what great coverage by Cornish. Oh. And they tried to make a desperation tweener, but couldn't get it. And credit Atkins, she had Cornish running all over the place. Atkins just pulling strings right there. Great control of that point, ball placement. So look at the second serve. Yeah, I, I like Mitten on the right there. She's done a good job taking balls out of the air and putting the pressure on the backhand side of Cordage. Three, well, two, when one. they have bounced, she's given herself nice separation, nice timing. Well, that's Second still start. not the spot. Yeah. Even when you think there's a gap, there's not a gap there for the Cordage forehand. Three, and two, she's two. waiting for it. And then Williams puts it away with some power. Tell you who's loving this thing going three games though is, is Bagby and Shaw. <laughs> Two, three, a, little, one. a little extra break. A little bit of wearing down of their potential opponents. They're hoping this one goes to extra pickleball here in game three. Defense by Williams. That ball was just yep, wide. It was. Second serve. Call stands. Franklin X40 replay. I, I don't think that, that it's, that's it's a little. It's not as easy to see from that yeah, angle. Yeah, that's a little elusive. But, the angle that, that we had right here, you could see more space. Two, three, two. Good Sorry. ball there from Atkins, sliding it down the line of the backhand of Williams. Just a little bit of a lean to the middle there was enough for Williams to catch three, that two, one, one a little late. There you go, Cordage able to get the forehand in the center. We've gone eight straight serves collectively Three, without two, a point two. here. Make it nine straight. Side out. Had the opening down the line there for Mitten, but she tried to rush it and execute that shot before Cordage could even try and yeah. think about coming back. And the process just pulled it too wide. Two, three, one. Couple of lobs oh, by Cordage. And then Atkins couldn't get that one. 
Nice turnaround there from Cordich. Looked like she was in trouble with this ball here from Mitten. Yeah, that first lob she hit, I think she kind of was more of a defensive lob. The second one was more yeah, three, intentional. Three. And a chance now for Cordich and Williams three, to go in front. They've yet to lead in this third game. sure what Minton was doing right there. Whether she got just twisted up with the footwork or whether she was going to hit another tweener or three, one, one what it was. But a little late getting it on that one. And Minton and Atkins a little early for a timeout, but they're feeling like they need to stop whatever momentum Cordich and Williams have as it is now 4-3 in favor of Cordich and Williams. Back to Naples in a moment. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Yola, for the champion in you. By Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand. And by Paddle Tech, the paddle of champions. Let's go again. Game three of the women's senior pro doubles bracket. Here in this semifinal, Dave Bench, Chad Edwards, glad to have you along as it is just after 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time here in Naples, Florida. And Chad, we didn't really talk much about it, but you know, Cordich and Williams, they had three match points in game two. I yes, mean, how, did. how devastating is that to, to have to play at game three when you have three chances to close it out in two? Well, it, it makes you kind of start second guess yourself as far as your strategy and, and what you're working or, or how you can keep Mitten and Atkins from you know, picking on the weaknesses, which in reality is the backhand side for both Williams and Cordich. They're so much stronger in the middle. Second serve. And into the net to move to the second serve. That was a good timeout by Mitten and Atkins. They could maybe feel momentum going to Cordich and Williams. The two points they scored there on point four, three and point two. four was the first time this entire game there had been points scored on consecutive serves. Mm. Up. Williams knowing she just missed it off the paddle. Just a slight changing that angle off the paddle and that's a winner down the line yes, but instead it's a side out three four one oh uh, cordage she's been really really solid well, I mean, any any dead ball in the middle, any elevated ball in the middle where Cordich can take a more aggressive swing. Three, four, two. It's just been so difficult for Mitten and Atkins to try to catch up to. Mm, deception Fire. and effective at that by Cordich. Yeah, again, going right for the body there of Atkins. I mean, I think uh, Atkins and Mint were both expecting her to try to slam that right down the middle. Four, three, one. Second serve. Williams leaves it short. Four, three, two. Off the net, Atkins able to keep it going. No. <laughs> <laughs> and 
The two balls caught its hit right there with two forehands. Both speed ups, both aggressive. So good control there from Kara Williams as far as moving the ball around, putting some pressure on yeah, Sarah Minton. Five, three, two. Five, three, two in this third game. Portich and Williams both back on that baseline. And Atkinson Mitten able to take advantage. Three, five, one. Missed fire by Williams. Back to a one point margin. Well, that's just a good job there from Atkins, recognizing that Four, five, one. Cordich is going to step over, speed that up. She gets right over the top of it, just punches it down the feet of Williams. And Atkins on the wrong end of the net that time. Four five two. Four, five, two. And Williams showing off a little bit of power there, going right at Atkins, and forces the side out. Mitten and Atkins have not been allowed to get any rhythm in this third game. They have not Five scored points on consecutive serves. Mm, nice lob. And a better finish. Point. Timeout change in. Six, four, and Mitten one. Atkins will one use their minute. final timeout. Excuse me, well, actually, we're at the, uh, switching, we're at the end switching change. Ends. We're at the end change, yeah. My uh, my bad. The end change at 6-4 because this is the third free, game. Free timeout. It is a free, they, and they'll take it. <laughs> they'll certainly take it. We'll take it as well. Back to Naples in a moment. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Takea, hydration is an all-day game. And by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, save the date April 26th to May 3rd, 2025. Not too shabby here in Naples, Florida on the Paradise Coast. Plan your pickleball vacation to Naples at any time of the year. Naples, Florida is the pickleball capital of the world. Book your vacation to paradise today. Zing Zang Championship Court. A berth in the championship on the line here between Cordage Williams and Mitten and Atkins. And out of the end change, see how that factors into things. The wind has gusted at times here today. Been fairly consistent blowing towards the team on the near court. Atkins goes down the middle. Cordage couldn't get there in time. 6-4-2. Six, four, two. Point. Minton just fell back off that one. Tried to get the quick flick down the line on the backhand side of Cordich. Ball didn't quite stay up as long Seven, as she four, wanted two. either.
Great job by Williams to get up there to the kitchen. And then the lob by Cordage. Off the net. Oh, <laughs> net cord, net cord. That point started off a, a lot faster than it finished. First couple of attacks were coming nice and hard, and then got a little too big on both of those. And now at 8-4, we will get the final timeout out of Mitten and Atkins. Back to Naples in a moment. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Nature Made, the official vitamin of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Arnicare, fragrance-free pain and bruise relief. Up your game without the pain. Available where you shop. And by Franklin, the official bag of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And remember, you can purchase the official U.S. Open Pickleball Championships apparel at kitchpickleball.com. How great is that? It's one thing I haven't been able to do is go kayaking. I've seen uh, seen some pretty good sunsets here in Naples, but yeah. I've not been kayaking here in Naples yet. That'd be fun. I like to go out and kayak and do some fishing. Mind you, I've got a little motor in the middle of my kayak, so it's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not full kayak. You can cover more ground that way or cover more water that way. Yeah, exactly. It's got a you know throttle and uh, foot pedals to control the rudder. So. Four eight one. Four eight one. The serve goes back over to Mitten and Atkins. Oh, Atkins serve. wants that one back for sure. Just kind of lunged at it. They've got one point in their last 11 serves. Four, eight, ten. She set herself up for the forehand with the backhand. Well, that was the only option right there. Good defense from Minton even to just keep them into it. And Atkins getting that ball back. But yeah, the little backhand flick down at the feet of Atkins set up for that next big forehand crossbody on, on Sarah Minton. Portage and Williams who had three championship points. Go awry in that second game. Trying to inch closer to finally getting into the final. Oh, right off the edge, God. I didn't think that was that tough of a overhead there for Mitten, and potentially she didn't either. Just a little too early trying to make contact there. Two points away. Second serve. That was long. Move to nine four two. Nine four two. Side out. Side out. That's and hope alive here. Yeah, that's been the shot there for Cordage, but that time just falling back. Weight going away from the ball, so it flattened out on it. 4-9-1. Oh. Second serve. Well, she'd like that one back. 
492. Four, nine, two. This, this might be the last gasp here if they don't put something together. Big forehand again from Cordich, and it was a good, good setup there from Kara Williams. Just bumped it down the line. Nine four one. One point the last fourteen serves. That's 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 not going to get you Tough. a lot of victories. It's also some pretty good defense on the other side. Oh, and that is going to put us one point away. Cordich every time she's gotten a ball to the backhand in probably the last seven or eight balls, she's thrown up that that lob. Ten for one. This is match point number four. Going back to the three they had in the second game. Second serve. It was there. Cordich knows it was there. Match point number five. Ten four two. Williams got caught just watching. And if you're Cordes and Williams, you got to be thinking, what do we got to do to close this thing out? Mitten and Atkins hanging on by a thread, but hanging on. Second serve. <laughs> Oh, I just tried to hit that one. Thankfully, she missed it. Four ten two. Four ten two. Ooh. Good job Four. laying off it. And finally. They get a point. Yeah, well deep there. They have not gotten points on consecutive serves in this game. Five, ten, two. that exchange either. So match point number six. Yes. Third one of this third game. Ten, five, one. Well, Second, <laughs> at this point right now, Cordich is just trying to force a little too much on that forehand. Are they thinking about how many match points they've blown? Probably. This is match point number seven. And lucky seven finally comes through. <laughs> Big sigh of relief there for Cordich and Williams. Finally able to put that last one away. 11-3, 10-12, 11-5. Cordich and Williams finally moving on. It was not easy to get that elusive match point. Well, you knew once this last one was elevated to the forehand of Cordich, it was a good chance that it wasn't going to come back. All right, we'll step aside 
And we will have a Constellation Bracket match coming up in a few moments after Chad and I stretch our legs momentarily. for the day and so is my shoulder. Reach for Arnicare when sore muscles take you out of the game. This scientifically formulated pain reliever has no strong medicine smell, no greasy residue, and can be applied directly to where it hurts. Arnicare is powered by Arnica, an ingredient that has been trusted for centuries to provide relief for muscle pain, stiffness, and bruising. Don't let pain stop you from doing what you love. Reach for Arnicare and get back into the game. Available where you shop. with Nature Made, the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. At first, it was just a team. Now I can't imagine my life without them. That coach changed our son on the field and off.
Naples, Florida, after a little timeout, ready to go with continuing coverage of the women's senior doubles pro division. We head back to the consolation bracket. And a couple of teams that were out here on championship court earlier today, hoping that they could play their way into a gold medal match. Didn't work out that way. But Kim Kesner and her teammate Carter, they will take on Wainio and Coaches. Um, race to 15 with a chance to still be able to leave here with a medal. And I know that nobody really wants to take home a bronze, but at least if you take home a bronze, that means you won the last match you played. Exactly, exactly. So a lot of the times, the bronze medal winners feel better than the silver medal winners. Although, that is until you open up the, the, the prize check. check. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a record-setting amount of money available in the prize pool this year, over $150,000, the total purse this year. And that number is probably only going to keep going up. Well, oh, just like everything in pickleball, a large sponsorship, you know, six years ago, it used to be 10,000. Now the average, average top pro is, is getting sponsorships in the, uh, in the realm of six figures, so. Oh, look at the talent right there behind the camera. You guys work way harder than we do. Especially when you're chirping in our ears and trying to make us say silly stuff. Zero, trying to make zero, us ten. laugh and choke while we're trying to eat. <laughs> I gotta admit, man, yeah, I was I was impressed. You were like, boom, you sprinted back there to the, to I the was food there. area. I had, to, I had to get two pieces of carrot cake before anybody else did. So Kesner and Carter one, in zero, the near ten. court. At one zero two. On the side out will call. Okay, point. No, it was, no, they, they actually it was wide. Was it out? No, they call the call point. The court stands. Point. So you it's did. two nothing. Yeah, and the call stands. Looked like it was two, out zero, to ten. me, but. In any case. Well, that one's just a little deep there off the paddle of Wainio as well. So Diane Wainio and Karen Coaches. Karen in the neon Three, shorts seven, in the far court. And Diane, her partner on the left side of the far court. There's Kim Kesner in the near court on the right side and Molly Carter in the near court on the left side and it is a four nothing start. Four zero two. Oh. That one's going to go out too. So certainly not the start Wanio and coaches wanted. It is a race to 15, so they've got some time to come back, but you don't want to start off down 0-5. Well, you're already at five unforced errors right now. I'm going to try to keep that below double digits. Oh, right on the line. Perfect lob there from Carter. Twisted coaches all around. And we're already two points away from an end change. 6-0-10. Finally, Wainio and coaches will get a chance to serve. 0-6-1. Oh, and then a Second, sir. Ball, it just kicks off the net cord. Coach is not able to catch up to it. Zero six two. Zero six two. Kesner 
quick shot. Wainio couldn't react in time. I'm sorry, coaches couldn't react in time. And the side out back over now to Carter and Kesner. Six or one. Oh, it was there you, for the speed up, but Carter, a little too much body movement. Too much movement back to the middle. Six, zero, two. Needed to execute first. Okay. Nice put away there. And waiting on coaches, get the serve back. Zero six one. Second serve. Trying to hit it from that baseline and didn't get enough on it. Zero six two. Zero six two. Now let's go. Side up. Winnie on coaches, Six, not making zero, anything one. happen here. I was <laughs> right before Kesner hit that one. I was just about to say, I haven't seen Kesner hit anything but down the line when that ball goes to a backhand. And again, right there, it goes Seven, straight zero, down one. the line to the backhand side of coaches. If I was coaches and that ball was coming cross court to Kesner, I would slide to that right or slide to the left, either one, and clear the forehand or the backhand. More than likely, I'd, I'd slide to the right and clear that two-handed backhand and be you ready for the counter. just don't want to get caught in the middle. Well, and that's what's happening right now. She's just getting stuck. And there's the eighth point. So we will have an in change at eight nothing here in this race to 15. We'll take a brief Takea hydration break. So US Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's by Fat Tire, crisp, clean, and refreshing. The perfect post-play beer. By Zing Zang, the number one Bloody Mary brand is on fire with Zing Zang Blazing Bloody Mary. And by Deco Turf, the official pickleball court surface of the US Open Pickleball Championships. So many great sponsors, Fat Tire. It will be Fat Tire Friday here tomorrow. Paddle Tech, the official paddle. The Franklin X40 ball, the official ball. Franklin, the official bag. Gamma, the official grip. Skechers, the official footwear. And they're all playing on the Deco Turf surface, which is the official court surface. Eight, nothing. the end change can change the momentum here. Ah! Misfire there by Kisner. Zero eight one. Shot by Wainio on that lob. Oh, good what? pressure. Go. Uh, excellent Second job serve. from Wainio. Just being able Second to get serve. that ball back with the flick over, but Kesner and Carter just applying so much pressure Zero right eight, now. Ten. 
And again, so, uh, perfect ball from Carter down to the feet of coaches as she's trying to transition forward. Back to Carter and Kesner at eight nothing. Eight zero one. This fire will move to the second serve. Thank you. Second serve. Eight zero two. Side out. Little flick of the backhand for a winner for Wainio. Still not on the board yet, though. Yeah, that's a problem. Zero eight one. And now they are on the board. <laughs> Big cheer from the crowd. One eight one. Second well played serve. shot down the line by Carter. One eight two. Carter playing some fantastic defense and then off the net and out of bounds. So the second point of this race to 15 is on the board for winning on coaches. 2-8-2. Two, two. Yeah, that last ball, that last backhand just came across the top of it and it flattened out. Oh. Hmm. Point. Not sure if that would have been an out ball, but certainly was after it came off of the pedal of Kesner. Three, eight, two. Side out, thank you. Coach just misfires on the serve. Eight, three, one. Great look at the championship court venue here in East Naples Community Park. Second, sir. It's a good ball from Wainio right there out to the out to the back end. So I'm sorry. Eight, three, two. I didn't catch that exchange, but somebody just walked by and did something that made you laugh. Uh, Lou from met her in the English Hello. Open. Last year when I took the next gen team there, she just walked past, got in my face, stuck her tongue out. <laughs> and now they're gonna go over and yeah. pick out a new ball, I believe. So three eight as coaches will take over the serve. Three, eight, one. Coaches originally out of Denmark with a tennis background. Second serve. And now it's up to her teammate. Three, eight, two. Diane Wainio, 62 years old. Uh, that's a tough right move there for coaches. Ball's just a little too low. She tries to be aggressive and come over, but once she gets there fully extended, hitting from the shoelaces, Kesner's Eight, able to three, just one. get on top of that and put it back down at her feet. Second serve. Move on to the second serve. Scoring has gone dry here for Kesner and Carter. They scored their first six points on Eight, their first three, six two. serves. Point. And finally, we'll get the ninth point there. Good movement there from Carter. Wainio reaching in, trying to speed that up, and Carter came back, closed the gap, Nine, was three, able two. to counter attack. Oh. 
Yeah, Wayne, yeah, that looked like it was going to be wide, and indeed it was. So 10 3. Ten, three, two. Quick hands by Kesner, but play on. Point. And now 11 3. Yeah, it's a tough speed up from Wainio right there. Not in the best position. Goes cross court. Takata sitting all over it. This is a race to 15, in case you're just tuning in. Wondering why the game is not over at 11 3. 12 3 now. Another, another miss there from Wainio, just pushing that ball wide. 12-3-2. Still yet to be decided who the winner of this one will play in the consolation bracket. Side out. Wainio puts that one away. Three, 12, one. And move second to the second serve. serve. Three, Good crowd on hand, the gold medal match coming up. Let's look at Kyle Yates in his box. Back behind the baseline. We will see Kyle in action before this week is out. Oh, nice get. Oh, really nice get. Oh, wow, no, great one. defense. And then finally, Kesner couldn't get to that one, but <laughs> that was impressive. Still a huge hill to climb at 412. A yeah, good angle here yes, from Wainio to finish that one off. Kesner not able you're to good. catch up to it. Yes. 412-2. Nice two-handed backhand for the winner. And the side out. The expression on Diane Wainio's face says it all. She knows this is uh, not looking very good 12, right 4, now 1. at 12 4. Okay, I'll recall the score 12 4 1. Make it 13 4. That's a good exchange there from Coaches and, and Carter. Coaches just getting a little too big 13, on that last one. one, and Carter had a little bit more reaction time. Coaches take off the sunglasses for the first time today. Well, <laughs> Wayne hits it right into Second Carter. Seven. Carter needed to get that one just. A couple of inches high. Thirteen-four-two. And that will take point. us to game point. Fourteen-four-two. That'll do it. Well, Wayne and coaches won't go home with a medal, but they did get to play two games on championship court, which is too shabby when you come to Naples at the U.S. Open. And Kesner and Carter are much happier with that result as they stay alive in their quest to possibly leave here with a bronze medal. Well, they had a great start coming out 8-0. Slowed down a little bit in the... At the end of the, or I should say the beginning of that end change, but close it out nicely. Don't go anywhere. We've got the gold medal match coming up from Naples.
Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Don't leave pickleball behind when you leave the court. Pickleball Channel gives you the world of pickleball in your hands, covering the entire sport. Dive deep into the world of pickleball and keep your game going with Pickleball Channel. Shout out to our Pickle TV Digital Wave Production CBS Sportsnet Pickleball Channel crew. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of collective people involved here. Hugo, Victoria. David, Victoria, rocking. They're all rocking the Pickle TV <laughs> swag. We are live on Pickle TV right now. Austin, happy birthday to Austin. <laughs> he looks so happy right now. <laughs> Evan, well, Evan, that's, that's, Evan, our audio guy, looks so, so happy. Yeah, Evan looks happy. We're getting, we're getting uh, intel on birthdays and all that stuff on the air, <laughs> so I'm loving it. Dave Benz, Chad Edwards, glad you could be along here, here on this thirsty tequila Thursday. Hey, don't forget to call Terry with the Coke right here. <laughs> check the <laughs> check the YouTube chat feed for the uh, phone number to get your free Coca-Cola products. Uh, we have reached our gold medal match here in the women's senior pro division, and Natalie Bagby and her teammate Natalia Shaw against the Lily Cordich and Kara Williams, and we will have all the action of this championship coming up in just a moment here from beautiful Naples, Florida.
Welcome back to Naples, Florida. And we've reached the gold medal match here in the women's senior pro doubles division. And we'll get to that in a moment, but want to take you back to about 24 hours ago. The kids were all lined up here on championship court and Chad Edwards, who were they here to see? Yeah, Anna Lee Waters and Lee Waters out doing a kids clinic yesterday. Taking on, getting the opportunity to play a few points against them as well. Show off their skills. I tell you what, the line that we had out in the uh, out in the Vendor Village today for Annalie Waters signing. One, I walked zero, in, I was like, what the, what's this line going on right now? It was all the way out the tent. So we are underway. Already one nothing in favor of Bagby and Shaw in the near court. Side out. Put away there. Want to stay away from Cordich's forehand in the center of the court. We saw that. A little bit Zero, of go one, here one. on championship court in the semifinal. And Cordish will begin Point. the service part of the game for her side. And quickly evens it at 1-1. One, 1-1-1. One. One, one, one. Lily Cordish Mueller. A lot of hyphens in this one. <laughs> well, all Second day serve. there's been a whole lot of Ks. We had Kajas and and. Cordich and coach and coaches and one one two. Yeah. Cordich couldn't catch up with that one. Side out. And so the side out. So you got Natalie Herman back. Natalia Todorovic Shaw. Lily Cordich Mueller and Kara Williams. Second and Kara Williams just, just sounds like a straight basic name once you get to it after all that. But at the same time, one, but Kara is not two. a normal name either. Um, from a broadcaster's perspective, Kara Williams. It's a fantastic that is name. A, that is a fantastic <laughs> name. Sign out. I'm a big fan of any, any names that don't have an R in it because anytime I say it, it doesn't sound the same anyway. So. One, one, one. You know, my, my favorites are always where you got Burr, Bar, and Bar. Those are three different last names, by the way. Cordage couldn't catch Second up to serve. that one off of Shaw. One, one, two. Off the net. Good look at the kitchen cam there. And Cordage goes up and gets it and puts it at the feet of Shaw. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Yeah, I out. think I think that has to be the strategy for Bagby and Shaw is if they get an opportunity to, to one, speed two, up at the back one. inside of Cordich or even you know drop a ball back behind there go after it try to avoid anything through the middle like that Ooh, she just overcooked it though yes she did Point. And that'll draw us even at two apiece here in this first game of the gold medal match. Two, two, one. That will not get up over the net. Bagby and Shaw had a nice long break after winning their semifinal match in two games. Three, Cordish two, one. Cordish Mueller and Williams needed the three games to be able to advance. Needed seven match points to be able Second to close serve. it out in the semifinals. And off the net, they'll move it to the second server here for Natalie Bagby. Three, two, two. Alex, 
point. Good control there from Bagby on the transition. Four, two, two. Does fatigue come into play here for Cordich and Williams? Uh, potentially a, a little bit, but you know what? They're they're both pretty athletic. I think it's it's right Point. now what it, what's happening is that it's more coming down to sequences. Bagby and Shaw are are getting those balls wider. They're finding the backhand of, of both Cordich and, and Williams, and that's not their their Five, strong two, sides two. per se. So they they're getting back a lot of the dead dinks or or the balls that they can attack. Cordich tries to go in and there and get it. Probably should have left it for Williams. And just like that, it is 6 2. Tough for Cordich to lay off anything, though, that involves her forehand. Six, two, yeah, two. absolutely. Well, that time she just rips the two hand back in. It just catches the line. Yeah, you, know, you get to a point where you just go for it, and if you miss it, you miss it. You've been you've been missing Two, when you've six, been one. trying to go soft. Go so back, we, go back to what got you yeah, here, right? If you are just like that, stepping up, point. being aggressive, going into the body. You know, if 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 you're gonna miss, you 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 at Three, least want to miss one. on your terms and and miss being aggressive. Second serve. Shaw with the winner there. Yeah, it was a good double up there Three, from six, Shaw. Two. Cordich thought that she was going to go back into the body instead of back through the middle. Side out. And the side out gets it back to back B and Shaw. 6-3-1. Great oh, defense nice and then footwork. offense. Yeah, excellent footwork there from Shaw. Clearing of, clearing the body, giving yourself separation on that forehand side. And able to thread the needle through the middle nicely. 7-3-1. Point. Mm, that one might have been going out. Just out. Second serve. Not enough wind to blow that one down. Seven, three, two. Seven, three, two. One just wide off Cordich's paddle. Thought it was Time a little bit receivers. closer there, Eight, but three, two. And a timeout is going to be taken here by Cordich and Williams on the wrong end of an 8-3 score here in game one in Naples. It's open pickleball championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Latitude, Margaritaville, and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude, Margaritaville by Skechers Pickleball. Experience comfort that performs with the Viper Court Pro. By Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. And by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. Anna Shirley back at it, getting the crowd all hyped up. While well, the players are coming back on the court, I'm going to take a quick time to give a little shout out to Marianne Carpenter. She had tickets to come down here this week. Looks forward to it every year. She's got some medical issues going on. She's not able to make it down here. So she's Nine listening here. to us at home. Eight, three, two. Well, we appreciate the fact she's watching. Get better and be back here next year. Side out. So the timeout serves its purpose. 
Portage and Williams get it back at 3 8. You have eight. And the ref. Three, eight, Bagby one. and Shaw change places. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, can't hit it right, twice. Not the right spot there. Got to go over the right shoulder for that one. Four, eight, one. That's a better spot there from Shaw. Goes cross body on Cordage. Gets a lunging at the backhand. Four, eight, two. Shaw gets handcuffed. Move it to 5 8. Really impressed with the crowds again five, here today eight, on two. this Thursday, day five of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Side out. And the side out, getting it back over to Bagby and Shaw. Temperature absolutely perfect right now. Eight, five, one. Uh oh. Oh, no. Missed Point. fire. Williams had an opportunity, but. Yeah, he, Williams laid that paddle back. The Nine, paddle face is pointing one. straight up to the sky when she hit through it, and it just sailed. Shaw gets handcuffed, and we'll move to 9-5-2. Nine, 9-5-2. Oh, well, that's wide, just wide, though. Backby tried to reset that and catch the line. Nine, one. Point to the net and this margin closing a little bit now. A yeah, little bit of life at Cordich and Williams. Six, nine, one. Second serve. Six, nine, two. Six, nine, two. Seven, nine, Point. two. They got something going now. Uh oh Timeout receivers. And a timeout Seven, nine, being two. taken by Bagby and Shaw. They've watched their lead dissipate. We'll take a very quick break from Naples. Get it out. Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Yola for the champion in you. By Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand. And by Paddle Tech, the paddle of champions. Let's go again. Kyle Yates. Not feeling any stress right now. Hanging out in the box behind the baseline. There's no stress at the U.S. Open, is there? Uh, I mean, not if you're Simone Charging. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know about that. I think she feels more stress here than anywhere else. Being the same for Kyle, being in front of your home crowd. Well, that's a Point. good spot. Back being sure, fighting for the middle. Cordich and Williams now back within one after it looked like Bagby and Shaw Eight, had nine, two. complete control of this first game. Bagby and Shaw had an 8-3 lead. 
side out. And they will get the serve back here, but their lead has been sliced to one at 9-8. Nine, 9-8-1. Eight. Nine, eight, Point. Good communication there. Bagby stepped over, took that ball in the middle while Shaw came up and then slides back out. Shaw finishes 10, 8, with a nice 1. forehand, brings up game point. Off the net, and that's how the game will end. 11-8, timeout, change in. 11-8 in favor of Bagby and Shaw. Built a big lead, watched it go away, and then finally got it through to the finish line. One more look at the Franklin X40 replay on the game point. Yeah, Williams just a little hesitant with that forehand. Just floated it up nicely right here. Sure, I'm back be fighting to get see who could get there first. Game two coming your way after this Takea hydration break. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. Here on Florida's Paradise Coast, you can't help but think, if only every beach was this beautiful. If only every adventure was this exciting. If only every dinner was this special. If only every sky was this dramatic. All of which proves one thing. When you want a vacation to deliver only the finest of everything, only paradise will do. Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades. Florida's Paradise Coast. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the US Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. We're going to Margaritaville! You can go to Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. Back here in Florida, they uh, jumped the gun on the restart here, and it's already 1-0, one 1-0-2 one in favor of Cordich and Williams. They were anxious to get game two underway. Ooh, Cordich tags Shaw. That's the danger zone right there for sure in Bagby if they stop feeding Cordich, Cordich a two, zero, two. healthy diet of forehands. Point three zero two start here. Chad, that was kind of shades of uh, making me think back to the first year or two of this tournament where players weren't used to their being timeouts for TV. <laughs> yeah. And they would get, they would get so frustrated. Yeah. Like, well, we want to go. It's like, well, do you want to have the sport become popular and you can make money from sponsors or not? Yep. Point. Still get it at times. Especially when you go on the networks two. and there's One a minute. few more commercials and longer commercials. And <laughs> speaking of commercials, we're got time out. We're going to go right back to a commercial because it is a 4-0-2 start here for Cordish and Williams. We're just going to keep it here during the uh, quick Takea hydration break. So we'll keep it here. And... 
very enthusiastic crowd here. As always in Naples, Florida. Only going to get better tomorrow. Fat Tire Friday, and that will set us up for all the championship matches on Championship Saturday. I have to, I have to say, on on Championship Saturday, it all starts off with a bang with the flag ceremony, oh, yeah. and I mean the energy just just starts from there, and it and it keeps picking up as the night goes on. Flag ceremony is going to be bigger and better than ever this year. Time in. So 402. 402. 50 states, 31 countries this year. I want to meet the Alaska contingent and I want to know <laughs> how much outdoor pickleball they actually get to play. About a month and a half. I actually did go to Alaska for the first Five, time zero, two. two years ago and in the summer and it was uh, it was fantastic. But no, thank you in the winter. Side out. Zero five one back being shot. This is their first Zero service five, opportunity one. of this game. Oh, and a swing Point. and a miss. Don't see that very often. I mean, it's a big sub from Bagby right there. It pushed Williams back. Bought it slid over to try to buy Williams some time and big swing and a miss. One five one. Great reflexes by Shaw to get out of the way of that one. Two five one. Oh, Bagby Second hesitated. Serve. Then the ball got on her, and all she could do was just flick the wrist down. Two, five, two. And Side out. The unforced error into the net, so. Back over to Cordich and Williams at five, two. It's the second Five, game two, one. of this gold medal match. Best two out of three. Oh, Cordich wants second that serve. one. Big swing on the forehand. That one just came out a little flat. Didn't quite get underneath it as much as she has been. Five, two, two. And Williams Side tried out. to rush that one. So two, five, one on the side out. Two, five, one. The lob stays in. Ball there from Shaw. Hit it where they ain't. Yeah, and it's a good setup with that offensive lob as well. Just inside the baseline. Cordage goes back to get it, and then the next ball gets dropped out wide. So Cordage slides to the line, and Williams kind of goes straight. So it leaves that hole Three, in the five, middle. One. Shaw holds it on the paddle a long time, waits for them to commit. Second serve. Hmm. You hate throwing away one on serve. Three, five, two. Oh, I don't <laughs> think Bagby Side needed out. to step over the short. Had hit the overhead and recovered quick enough. And Bagby and Shaw did a good job of coming Five, back three, to one. be able to track that thing down. Side 
second serve. Move to serve number two. Five, three, two. Side out. Side out. Three, five, one. Oh, back B. Second Into the net. Three, five, two. Not typical to see this many unforced errors from Natalie Bagby. Three, Usually five, she two. plays pretty clean, has good control of the ball and paddle. That's why she's had so much success. Ooh. Point. But they do get a point there, get it back to one point in the margin here. Natalie Bagby Four, five, originally two. from France, has been teaching and coaching pickleball and been a senior pro player since 2021. Oh, that's an excellent lob there from Shaw. Yeah. And an even better angle there from Point. Natalie Bagby. And we are all even at five. Bagby says when her competition day ends, she's most likely to be found swimming in the ocean if she has time. And if not, at a nice restaurant with a glass of wine. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the uh, the restaurant, five, the glass five, of wine. The question is, are you, are, is it a celebratory glass of wine or are you drowning your sorrows? <laughs> Side out. Do, do I sound like a sad man? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in your family, it's five, usually five, celebratory. One. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, nice drop there Point. from Williams. It kind of just slid through the kitchen there on Shaw. Didn't, didn't quite come up as much as she thought it was. Cordish and Williams. Six, five, one. Push back in front here. Started off with a five nothing lead. Now, you saw Point. that last ball, Shaw hits it and just stands there to see what's going to happen, whether it's going to get down or not. Cordage reaches one. in and speeds that ball up right into the body. Ooh, quick reflexes on that lob by Cordage to make them pay. Well, that was the third time Shaw had time attempted that lob eight, five, one. One over minute. Cordich. And uh, yeah, quick, quick reflexes on that one. And that'll take it to 8-5. And a timeout being taken here by Bagby and Shaw. And we're going to just keep it here. All right, I wonder if we have any veterans in there. Our uh, executive producer, Ray Coley, he, Kobo, saying we've got enough breaks in for the day. Oh, I think it's more so that he's scared that these I, players I are going <laughs> to yeah, stop yeah. playing. Well, there is that. There is that. <laughs> hey, don't you, you got your sheet of well, sponsors say, over yeah, there, well, don't well, you? Why don't you just read the billboards off anyway? Uh, no, no. Well, yeah, I was going to say, while well, we have a break, uh, there's a look at the uh, breakdown of this year's Open. I was way. right. 50 states, 31 countries. Look at that. My headset went out there for a second. Not sure what happened. Uh, the age range seven to eighty-five. That's a uh, that's a seventy-eight year spread. A lot more men than women playing in this tournament this year. Kitsch Pickleball, the official apparel. Pole Star, the official you car. Are. More Sports, the official builder. Covitz Investment are. Group, the official wealth management company. Nine Dolphin Transportation, Eight, the five, official one. transportation. Takea, the official water bottle. And I'll try to finish off the rest of the list before we go off the air. Yeah, it landed in. Point. Bagby getting out of the way, hoping that it was going to go out, but. Cordich and Williams inching closer here to taking game two. And that would set us up for a third game. 
951. Oh. Mm, I don't Point. know about that. We got a replay of that in the truck. It was close. They called it out. That's going to take us to game point. 10-5. So game point number one. Oh. Second serve. Cordage going for body. Trying to tie up short. Why not? You're up by five. You had two game points. Ten, five, two. Take a bit of a risk. Remember, Cordich and Williams had problems closing things they, out in their yeah. semifinals. They had eight, eight, eight match eight. points. Yeah. That time they don't. They do win it. Two minutes on their second try. So we will have a third game here in Naples, Florida. 11-6, Bagby Shaw in game one, 11-5, Cordish Williams in game two. One more look at the final point of that game. Yeah, this time a little backhand roll from Cordich down the line, tying up short. So big adjustment for Cordich and Williams in game two. is never easy, but staying on top is just as hard. Winning becomes more than a goal. It becomes an expectation. Practices get longer, training more intense. Every game needs to be your best because that's what you're going to get. So is it all worth it? Paddle tech. Let's go again. Less beer. Cat tire. People play pickleball for exercise, competition, or to hang out with friends. What your reason is doesn't matter to Gamma. What matters is that you play, that you enjoy playing with passion, and you have so much fun you can't wait to play again. At Gamma, we offer paddles perfect for all levels, including yours, because pickleball is about you, the player, and what feels right. Pickleball is your game. Make Gamma your paddle. Play to live. Live to play. Gamma Pickleball. Welcome back to Naples, Florida, going to a game three in this gold medal match. Cordage and Williams, only nine unforced errors in that second game. And Sean Bagby will start this decisive third game with the serve. Flips that one home for the first point of game three. Well, that's the start that they want right there. Good ball movement, creates the pop-up. Bagby with the big overhead finish. Trying to keep the unforced errors below one, zero, 10 two. in this one. That's kind of, that's been the benchmark. If you can keep it down in the single digits, good chance to win. Side out. Cordage right down the middle. With that forehand. 
So the men's seniors senior doubles yesterday went to a third game and it was a pickle. Zero one one. I have a feeling this one's not gonna go that uh, way. I don't think so. Oh, that ball's just wide. Bugby. Point. Just a little too hooked with that paddle. Did a good job getting outside it, but with the angle that was already created, she one, just pulled one, it one. across the, and pushed it wide. Second serve. Look to the second serve. You know, it literally just dawned on me after we've been on the air for four and a half hours that we never transitioned to our high top stools today. No, I, I was, one, I was, one, you know, on the lower chair, relaxing on the on the on the table the only I, I, reason why i'm standing up is because my butt cheeks started to go numb in the back of my mind i've been wondering all day why the why it seemed <laughs> why like the your... camera guy was so much more obstructing me today than than yesterday and i finally realized we never got our high top chairs back yeah they asked if we wanted them and i said no i'm good <laughs> having a having a, a leaning rest on the table one 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 Oh, I like that from Shaw. Good setup with the body. Good footwork. Point. Gets around it. She's got two options right there. She's going to go aggressive inside out, push out wide to Williams, or we'll see if Cordich will bite. Take a step to the two, left. One, she did. One. Nice quick flick down the line. That's wide. Three, one, one. Point. Uh -oh. Don't let those arrows creep in. Four, one, one. Off the net. Oh, oh <laughs> couple of net shots. What a point. Oh, That's just wild. out. Yep. Cordage going for one too many on the lob after she walked away back forward. Excellent scramble. Right, Bagby and Shaw up 5-1. It's a start they want, but certainly not the start that Cordage and Williams five, want. One, one minute. And kind of a surprising use of timeout here. I mean, I get you don't want to go into the end change down 6-1. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of, of a 5-1, five, 5-anything five timeout because you're one point away right. from a free timeout. Exactly. But that's what we get here in Naples. So U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Takea, hydration is an all-day game. And by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, save the date April 26th to May 3rd, 2025. Natalia Todorovic Shaw and Natalie Herman Bagby. With a 5 1 advantage here in this third and decisive gold medal game. Point. Make it a 6 1 time advantage. Out. Well, and there's your timeout, your free timeout. Yeah, and, and that's uh, going to bring about the end change. But you know what? It, it, they played three games in the semis, so maybe they're feeling a little winded. Cordich and Williams 
hoping maybe they can try to find a way to turn things around, but this is right now not the margin that they wanted in this third game. Well, it's, you know, it's just been back and forth with the, the unforced errors. And you know, like we've talked about before, the unforced errors is usually the telling factor between that winning and losing team. You're, you're not going to get high numbers of, of clear winners. Um, you know, you can you can put a little bit more pressure on it and create some errors. But usually when we're seeing 12, 13, 14 and higher, then we're seeing that three, four, five point spread. So six, one. Williams finally puts second one away, serve. but that's only going to move it to the second server. after five consecutive points Six, by one, Shaw two. on her serves. Well, that was not quite Side high up. enough. Shaw, Kara Williams was quite happy with that ball from one, six, Shaw one. right there. off the net, not a bounds. Second serve. One six two. One six two. Mm. It's a good setup there from Cordich. Little selfie action, big drive, creates the pop up. Steps up, two, finishes six, with that two. big forehand again. Shaw into the net, and suddenly, perhaps some signs of life here by Cordage and Williams. Both. Kara Williams and Lily Cordich Mueller are Three, out of six, Carlsbad, two. California. Beautiful part of the country. Yeah. Nice Side put out. away by Bagby. Six, three, one. there to keep that thing alive and the unforced error by Williams ends it. Well Cordich took off like she was going to go after it and it landed a little bit closer than net than she thought so she stopped. Seven, three, one. Williams not able to make the adjustment get up there and get it. Point. And then wide from Cordich, and suddenly it is 8-3, three, three points away. 8-3-1. Second serve. Sure, just a little too tall on that one, up on the tippy toes, hits the top of the ball. 8-3-2. Side out. Cordage and Williams still alive. Three, eight, one. Yeah, good spot there from Second Shaw. 
Cordic, the drive didn't have as much on it as Three, usual. Eight, two. Perhaps they are starting to wear down just a little bit. Legs getting a little tired. Well, that's a good Point. drive, though. So four, four eight. eight two. Side out. Yeah, and that's one of those shots you mentioned the legs get tired. You know, two hours ago, they probably you probably get that one over the net. Eight four one. Williams played that lot beautifully. I think Shaw needs to attack that one rather than trying to throw up the lob. Eight, four, Good two. job from Williams right there. Williams does just keep that one in. That was really good control and good aggressive dinking from Williams there. And again, Cordic, when she's stepping over, she's not getting in the same athletic stance as she was earlier in the day. Trying to bend the legs, but the weight is back over the heels where earlier on she was up balls of the feet. Nine, four, two. Cordic and Williams do have a timeout remaining and they don't want to have to use it. They'd like to get the side out. And they will. Side out. Well, that was a better job by Cordage there. Better body positioning, reached in. Just a nice controlled roll, speed up. Four, nine, one. Out of bounds. And move to 492. Second serve. 492. That's it. Again, Williams, she's moving through that shot as she's trying to hit it. So there's no solid base, not giving the extension. And the lift to get it over Nine, the net. Four, one. A lob by Shaw sets up the forehand four. winner, and that sets us up with championship point. That was a better lob there from Shaw. She focused more on extending out and through that ball. Taking Time it over the 10, right four, shoulder. One, one minute. And the final Left time shoulder of, of Kara Williams. Final timeout will be taken here by Cordage and Williams. 10-4 here in the gold medal third game. So U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Nature Made, the official vitamin of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships by Arnicare, fragrance-free pain and bruise relief. Up your game without the pain. Available where you shop. And by Franklin, the official bag of the US Open Pickleball Championships. And remember, you can purchase the official US Open Pickleball Championships apparel at kitchpickleball.com. Gotta love the un- Dying energy in the crowd. They have been fiery all day here on this Thursday. Let's finish off the list of our sponsors here. The official homeopathic medicine is Arnicare. Official vitamin and supplement Nature Made. Official wine. That's to Chad Ed Edwards' interest is a thousand <laughs> yeah. stories. Official Eat Taylor's Total Pickleball one. and the official wellness drink is Good Idea. And here we go. 
championship point. Mm, it well, it's in on the, re on the ricochet. <laughs> Good spot right there from Williams. So now Ten, Bagby, four, two. championship point number two. And Natalia Todorovich Shaw, pretty happy to be part of that ride. Natalie and Natalia, your women's senior pro doubles champions at the 2024 Minto US Open Pickleball Championships. Yeah, an excellent performance by them. They would had a little bit of slip up there in game two, but they cleaned it all up in game three, kept the pressure on and never gave up. We will hear from the winners and present some medals after this timeout. Stay with us from Naples. Ready for a real cocktail? Grab a Zing Zang ready to enjoy cocktail in a can. America's number one Bloody Mary mix with vodka. Zing Zang classic margarita, tequila included. Mango margaritas made with tequila and real mango puree. And whiskey sours with real Kentucky bourbon. Real cocktails, real ingredients, really good. Zing Zang full strength canned cocktails. Legendary taste, legendary day. Always ready. And Cordish and Williams, 38 unforced errors. That could have been part of the reason why Pagme and Shaw were able to emerge. And while you digest those numbers, we're waiting for our medalists to make their way over to our presentation area. Still one more match to come your way. The bronze medal match will be coming your way here in Naples, Florida. Pretty good day though for all of them. Yes, yes, we'll get Natalie, Natalie Bagby over here and Natalia Todorovich Shaw, but we also need our silver medalists over here. And I'm not sure who's coming over here to make the presentation. So it's uh, slow, slow to get over here to our presentation area.
They're here. They're here. The silver medalists are here. Can you guys stand over here? But the, um, all right, we don't have the, uh, yeah, you're talking. You're right here. All right, I have the silver medalists here, Kara Williams. And uh, Kara, let's start with you. Uh, th that was, uh, as, as you're getting on your, getting on your three quarter zip up there. Uh, I, I, you know, listen, you guys had to work awfully hard just to get to the finals. You take it three games. Uh, getting a chance to play for a gold medal in championship court is a pretty good day. It is, it's a really good day. Oh, wow, <laughs> everyone hears us. Um, yeah, I mean, Lily and I live near each other. We drill a lot. Um, and we haven't been able to practice lately, but we know each other's games. And I was just trying to set her up. I'm the setter. She's a spiker. So that was our game plan. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy how we did. Yeah. yeah. And, and Lily, you were just feasting on anything that was in the middle of the day. Yeah. I mean, well, it was so much fun playing with Kara. And, and uh, just for the record, this is the first Serbian finals. The, the lady that beat yeah. me, we grew up together in Belgrade, Serbia. So go Serbs. Yeah. Um, congratulations to, to the winners. They did a great job. This was a long day. This was the first time we played together, Kara and I. Uh, super excited. The, the energy here was phenomenal. Uh, we'll definitely be back. This is my first time at the US Open and looking forward to many more tournaments here. And thank you so much, crowd and the refs and everybody else that helped us you know, work our way through the day. So thanks. All right, well, let's hear it for Kara and Lily, and let's uh, bring their silver medals and their prize money over here. And uh, Simone Zhajing, who knows a thing or two about winning some medals, making the presentation right now. <laughs> Simone walking away with the money. All right, ladies, congratulations. We'll get you back in for, for more photos. We, we, gotcha. Yeah, let's, but let's bring in our winners, uh, Natalia and Natalie. Let's hear it for the gold medalists here in Naples. And uh, Natalia, let's begin with you. Uh, what was it like to be out there and play for a gold medal long, alongside Natalie? Oh, it, it's such a special feeling. I'm so thankful to play with Natalie. It's a dream come true. And just in this environment, it, has, it was wonderful. The energy is great, and uh, the teams are so tough. It was Every match was tough. It was really uh, a grind, whole day. But uh, really, really um, so thankful to play with Natalie. She's just a wonderful partner. And Natalie, for you, it is back to back. How about that? I know, I know. That's, I mean, um, I... Uh, I have no words for that. It was a, a long day. My, uh, I congratulate my amazing partner. Uh, she did it. I mean, I couldn't win without her, so uh, it's fantastic. I mean, I love it here. Um, so I'm, I'm so happy. Well, ladies, congratulations. Well earned. Let's get the gold medals over here for the ladies, as well as their uh, there are prizes for, for taking the gold here in Naples, Florida. You not only get the gold medal, but you also get, of course, the all-important prize checks, part of the $150,000 purse here this year, and uh, also some Skechers shoes. Skechers, of course, the official footwear here of the 2024 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships and the championship hat. So, uh, you, you, uh, and, and Natalie, I feel like you got one more thing you want to say. I really want to thank you, my thanks my sponsor, Paddle Tech. Uh, they've been with me for three years since I started. They believe in me and they're always there uh, supporting me. And uh, I thank them a lot. And the organization of the tournament, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's uh, the biggest tournament, so we love it. Thank you. All right. Well, ladies, uh, congratulations one more time. Let's hear it for your gold medalists. We're going to let them take some pictures, and we're going to step aside. When we come back, we'll have the bronze medal match on championship court here from Naples, Florida.
I'm done for the day, and so is my shoulder. Reach for Arnicare when sore muscles take you out of the game. This scientifically formulated pain reliever has no strong medicine smell, no greasy residue, and can be applied directly to where it hurts. Arnicare is powered by Arnica, an ingredient that has been trusted for centuries to provide relief for muscle pain, stiffness, and bruising. Don't let pain stop you from doing what you love. Reach for Arnicare and get back into the game. Available where you shop. your day with nature made the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand at first it was just a team now i can't imagine my life without them that coach changed our son on the field and off Naples, Florida, our final match of the day, the bronze medal match. And, you know, we, uh, we just, Kim, Kim Kesner bribed us to, to keep one more of her matches on the air today because she hasn't had enough time on championship court. I'm totally making that up. But uh, Kim is uh, making her third appearance of the day on championship court. And she's hoping this one will result in a medal. So it's Kesner and Carter in the near court against Pam Ruoff and Erica Marsh. And Ruoff and Marsh are the 28th seed. I, I, I honestly, I've seen a lot of pickleball, watch a lot of people play. And unfortunately, I have not seen Second Pam or Erica play before. So going in blind like everybody else. Zero, zero, Dissect that game as we go.
And that one is going to be hit long by Marsh. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, sort through the internets to see what I can find about Marsh and Ruoff. Well, I, I, was, I, I could tell you that Ruoff's got a, quite a forehand. Yeah, and that was an excellent setup from Mosh right there, too, pushing that ball with you know, a, a little bit of conviction and getting Carter stretched out, created that pop-up. And then Ruoff right there to put that one away. Zero, one, one. I could tell you that this team of Ruoff and Marsh, they've played together before Second and uh, climbing the charts quickly. There's an Instagram post about them winning a 4-5 uh, tournament uh, about Zero, one, 11 two. months ago. Side out. And the side out after it goes into the net. Good ball right there. Carter not able to catch up to it. One, zero, two. Side out. Pam Ruoff plays out of the Fort Athletic Club, which is in Fort Monmouth, New Jersey. So I'm sure a lot of people from that athletic club are watching this live stream right now, fired up to be seeing her out here on championship court. That uh, ball just out. Good attempt there from Carter, but a good attack from Ruoff there as well, right in the body of Kesner. Second serve. And Ruoff into the net. Uh, just rushed that one a little bit. One, one, two. Got a little too close to the ball, came across the top of it. And the same Side there out. for Marsh. Just need to get that paddle head underneath the ball ever so slightly, then have that one, same one, one. acceleration. Now we'll get some shape and dip. Second serve. Kesner couldn't get the paddle on that one. Good look at Marsh right there. One, one, two. Oh, that's a Come good on. spot there from Carter. Ruoff sitting on the backhand side, Carter. Misdirect goes elevated on that right shoulder. Two, one, two. Two, one, two, Kesner. And Carter trying to see if they can build a little bit of a lead here early in this first game. Best two out of three, and Kesner with the backhand right down the middle for the point. So, Ruoff and Marsh lost in the first round to Alex Hamner and Lee Whitwell. 11 to 8, 11, 9, 11. Then they, this is their ninth match of the day. Wow. And you know, we talked about it yesterday. You come here to Naples and you haven't played here before and it might take you a minute to adjust to the conditions and you, and they, they acquitted themselves very well in they, that, they, first they game, started, that first game. They started out well and then unfortunately dropped games two and three, but they had redemption in the back draw beating Hamner and Whitwell 15-12 the second time they faced them today. So they found their groove after 
losing the very first match of the day. That's impressive. As was that shot that just stayed in. And then Marsh really making Carter run here and then putting it away. And we're even at three apiece. Yeah, excellent control there from Ruoff. Good gets from Carter, but just not able to do too much with them. Move to the second serve here. So Pam Ruoff will continue. Pam was a collegiate tennis player at Boston College. Actually played for the NCAA doubles championship on three occasions while she was with the BC Eagles. And Erica Marsh also out of the New Jersey area. She oh, was nice. a tennis nice. coach there. And that's the side out. I'm not sure why the DJ has decided to play some music here. Nobody's taking a timeout. <clears throat> here to get us even at four apiece. Decent number of spectators have stuck around for this bronze medal match. A good defense there from Marsh and Ruff, but Carter just too strong. Carter. What do you want me to say, Carter? <laughs> Are they only playing that in our headsets or is that going over the air? I really hope it's just going in our headsets. <laughs> they were just playing the Welcome Back Carter, Carter. theme song. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a few words that kind of sound, sounds Carter, Carter. Bob, Bob, Bob and Bob. <laughs> into the net there for Marsh, so it moves to 6-4. So I am going through, as I said, and digging through uh, some details here. I've got a little bit on Erica Marsh, and I'll give you that on the other side of this break from Naples. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. By Fat Tire, crisp, clean, and refreshing. The perfect post-play beer. By Zing Zang, the number one Bloody Mary brand is on fire with Zing Zang Blazing Bloody Mary. And by Deco Turf, the official pickleball court surface of the US Open Pickleball Championships. Welcome back to Naples, Florida. Dave Bench, Chad Edwards, and our fantastic crew along with you. Depending on what stream you're watching and what day of the week it is, it's either the Pickleball Channel crew, the Pickle TV crew, the Digital Wave Productions crew, or the CBS, CBS Sports, Sports Network crew. crew. <laughs> There's a lot of crossover. It, well, the the, the is question is, can we, get, can we get checks from all four? Oh, that would be fantastic. It's all the same crew, but... Doesn't mean we can't quadruple dip. Ruoff puts it between the feet of Kesner there, and we'll move to the side out in 4 6. So, Erica Marsh, according to what I'm four, finding, six, and the most unusual uh, return on the, on the internet search is an unfortunate one, if this is. Uh, accurate her and her husband seven years ago lost their house to a fire 
And somebody started a GoFundMe Ooh. for them and raised over $30,000 to help them out, Erica and Clint Marsh. Five, six, one. That one is left short. So move to 562. 562. And out of bounds. Kesner puts it right down the middle on the boulevard and the side out. Six, six, one. Oh, nice touch. So that's one thing that the tennis players have that somebody that's, you know, not as uh, seasoned in tennis and, and, and only pickleball. The, the tennis players have tremendous touch on those those touch volleys. And both Ruoff and Marsh have tennis backgrounds. The lob by Marsh. Oh, it's in. Oh. Carter and Kesner climb back in front. That was the that was the double me right there. Five six Marsh and oh, ATP, but she wide. missed it. Oh, she was sitting there setting it up, though. If you watch, she was going out wide, but not covering back middle. I'm surprised Carter didn't recognize it and take a ball middle. This time she makes <laughs> yes, it. Yes, she does. Goes to the backhand, adds a little bit of shape, gets outside it, finds that back corner. Kesner, not even thinking she's got a chance of going around the post. She didn't slide to the line. Six, eight, one. Six, eight, one for the 28 seed here in the women's senior doubles division, trying to win a bronze medal. Nice hands right there. Kata getting just a little too big, though. Moves it to 7-8. Seven, 7-8-1. Eight. Seven, eight, did, did they call it out? I think she <laughs> called it out. She hit it anyway, and then it was Second called seven. out. I think, uh, I think Kesna called that one out. Second serve. So they do indeed call it out, and we'll go to the second serve here at 782. 782. That ball's just out. Kesner trying to float that over the left shoulder of Ruoff Bay. Timeout, receivers, 882. One minute. And a timeout being taken at 8 all here in game one of this bronze medal match been tightly contested throughout here in Naples, Florida.
Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Latitude, Margaritaville, and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude, Margaritaville by Skechers Pickleball. Experience comfort that performs with the Viper Court Pro by Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast, and by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. Florida, we rapidly approach the best time of the day here, closing in on the sunset along the Paradise Coast. And if you haven't had a chance to enjoy a Naples sunset, you definitely are missing out. Absolutely fantastic. And people applaud. Yes. That's how good it is. Yep. They applaud when the sun sets. Well, everybody is happy down here that they made it through another day. So. <laughs> well, there is that. <laughs> there is that. 9-8, Marsh and Ruoff going front here. Yeah. And make it 10-8, they've got a game point. It's a nice overhead there from Ruoff. Doesn't try to do too much with it, just gets that ball down to the feet. By the way, Pam Ruoff not only played tennis collegiately at Boston College, he's actually in the Boston College Hall of Fame for tennis. Oh, nice pickup. Whip. And that will put game one in the books. Ruoff and Marsh, the 28 seed, are a game away from leaving Naples, Florida with a bronze medal. Your Franklin X40 replay as Kesner hits it wide. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. Here on Florida's Paradise Coast, you can't help but think, if only every beach was this beautiful. If only every adventure was this exciting. If only every dinner was this special. If only every sky was this dramatic. All of which proves one thing. When you want a vacation to deliver only the finest of everything, only paradise will do. Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. I got it. Oh. Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. Look at the numbers from that first match. Marsh and Ruoff more on forced errors, but they hit more winners. And they take it 11-8. So Kesner and Carter, they've got their hands full as they start game off game two, two with the serve. Zero, zero, two. And Kesner hits it wide. So 
Martian Ruoff a chance to strike first here in this second game. Well, I didn't hear a call right there. I wasn't paying attention. All I heard was the point well, call. The point, the it, it, was yeah. a, it was a mister at time, but I didn't hear any call on the court. Now that ball was there for Marsh. She'd done it to end game one, running around that forehand and just ripping it through the middle. Time just a little bit flat. Point. Another point and a 2-0-2 two, zero, two advantage. Two, zero, two. Nice adjustment there for Kesna with it kicking off the net cord. Tough to get a paddle on, let alone get on top of it and get it back down. Second serve. Nice attack there from Ruoff. Marsh and Ruoff doing a good job of moving the ball around. We're off back on the both back on the baseline right now and do work back up to the kitchen line, but then out of bounds. So side out gets it back over to the 28 seed. Nothing lead. Three zero two. Point. Good job to let that one go and a four nothing advantage. They are getting awfully close here. They've got all kinds of momentum going right now. That's a better lob there from Carter. Pushes it a little bit deeper. Ruoff trying to go back, take that out of the air, which she does, but she doesn't get back behind it far enough. Point. And finally, Carter and Kessner get on the board. goes up and gets Second it, side. using that height to her advantage. Yeah, that one was not quite deep enough there for Carter. She has to look more to pushing that ball, getting more extension. So Carter's having to move back on it when she just gets the height. Uh, sorry, Ruoff moving back on it. When she just gets the height from Carter. Too good of an overhead from Ruoff. And that one as well. Side out. So side out. I mentioned Ruoff in the Boston College Athletics Hall of Fame. A couple other names in that Hall of Fame you may have heard of. I don't know if I've Australia if you know these names. Bob Cousy, Doug Flutie. No, I know Doug Flutie. Michael Adams, Bill Romanowski. I know Romanowski. A 
ball is just wide. Late call, but the right call. And a 5-1 advantage. Second serve. Six one two. We're gonna have to find out from Melissa McCurley with the lowest Point. seed to come through in medal at the US Open has been had if the score holds. Well right now Mosh and Ruoff, they're playing clean, they're moving the ball around, they're putting pressure on. Yeah, that's the thing about being a lower seed is that you don't have any Time pressure as you're get, work, two, working your way through the draw. And a timeout being taken here by Kesner and Carter as they have a seven point deficit already down a game. Minto US Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the US Open Pickleball Championships by Yola for the champion in you. By Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand. And by Paddle Tech, the paddle of champions. Let's go again. Dave Bench, Chad Edwards, and our fantastic crew along with you. Final match of this day here in Naples, Florida. And Marsh and Ruoff are three points away from coming all the way back after an early morning loss to take a medal as the 28 seed. Oh, a little unlucky there for Marsh. Catches the net cord and just misses deep. One eight one. Point. Marsh couldn't quite get that one. Yeah, I think it's safe to say Kesna likes that ball right there on the forehand side. Can just slap it down. Kessner with the lob. Nice extension by Ruoff to get that one. Really great job. Oh, wow. nice coverage. That really was an amazing court coverage by Ruoff and Marsh. Good reading of the angles there from Marsh. This throws up another ball right here. Throws it up. Kessner tries to create an angle back and overhits it. That's the rule of defense right there. Just make him hit one more ball each time. Two eight two. Side out. Good defense again there from Ruoff. So nice ball from Kesna taking that backhand cross body. Crossed up, Ruoff just a little bit, but she got a paddle on it. Kept that ball down. And the official saying, no, it's not your serve, Erica. And, and now the ref saying, yeah, you, and you, Kim, you and Molly aren't lined up on the right sides. Eight to one. Carter 
hits that long. Again. Yeah. Yep. Good footwork there from Marsh. Nine, two, one. Ability to speed a ball up. Uh, it's better spot there from Carter. Nine two two. That's oh, wide. That's wide. And we've got match point. And bronze medal point. Whew. Well, Marsh and Ruoff have just gotten better and better as the day have gone as the day's going on. Ten, two, two. They'd love to have that first one over again. I'm sure they would. <laughs> Kesner keeps things alive for now. But this is a big Hill to climb down to 10. To 10 one. Mm. Push off. Oh, push off. No, just now you put now you did. No, you didn't. Second serve. No, you didn't. Uh, Kim left. can't believe it. So the push off call right there is. As Kim turned to hit the overhead, pushed off, put one foot down, but did not establish that second foot after she'd pushed off the line. Fix it long. She just decelerated right at contact there. I think if she stuck with the acceleration, same speed all the way through contact, Ruoff may have had that ball yeah, drop in. No, but you don't want to Three, ten, Three, two. Side out. And the side out will take us to match point number two. For a second, I thought she was going to have an ATP to end it, but it just got too far for her to get to it. Yeah, it just did not carry once it caught the net cord. Stayed nice and close to it. Match point number three. That's a good lob there from Marsh. Damn. Nice dig. Oh. And the third match points the charm. And the lights are flickering. How about that? Literally as the match ended, the lights flickered here. What? You haven't seen that before? No. It's on purpose. They oh. press a button and, I, I, and it's okay. it strobes. There you go. I've never seen it before. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know what? Usually I'm not used to the lights being on. Usually we're over before they're necessary. Every championship Saturday they flicker. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm usually getting busy doing okay. some anyway, interviews. Fantastic performance by Marsh and Ruoff. <laughs>
Losing first round, coming back, fighting their way through the whole day, taking the bronze. That is going to do it for our broadcast day here in Naples, day five of the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships for our fantastic crew here with the CBS Sports Network, Pickleball Channel, Pickleball TV, and Digital Way Productions crew, and my broadcast partner, Chad Edwards. I'm Dave Ben saying so long. We will see you tomorrow, 1 o'clock Eastern, here from Naples, Florida. is never easy, but staying on top is just as hard. Winning becomes more than a goal. It becomes an expectation. Practices get longer, training more intense. Every game needs to be your best because that's what you're gonna get. So, is it all worth it? Paddle tech. Let's go again. It's less beer. That tire. People play pickleball for exercise, competition, or to hang out with friends. What your reason is doesn't matter to Gamma. What matters is that you play, that you enjoy playing with passion, and you have so much fun you can't wait to play again. At Gamma, we offer paddles perfect for all levels, including yours, because pickleball is about you, the player, and what feels right. Pickleball is your game. Make Gamma your paddle. Play to live. Live to play. Gamma Pickleball. Ready for a real cocktail? Grab a Zing Zang ready to enjoy cocktail in a can. America's number one Bloody Mary mix with vodka. Zing Zang classic margarita, tequila included. Mango margaritas made with tequila and real mango puree. And whiskey sours with real Kentucky bourbon. Real cocktails, real ingredients, really good. Zing Zang full strength canned cocktails. Legendary taste, legendary day. Always ready. 